<laughs> you are the goblins of the Licto tribe who live deep in Brine Stump Marsh. Yesterday, your tribe discovered that one of your own was been, has been committing forbidden arts. He was engaging in the act of writing things down. The greatest of all taboos in your village. Once, some say that he was writing the lore of your entire tribe. So, as consequences, you branded the goblin's face with the words he loved so much and, brand and called him Scribble Face. You, after running him out of town and burning down his hut, you, Chief Gutwad, discovered a weird box in his building. Inside was a map and a lot of fireworks. The fireworks immediately came to use in the, in the immediate burning of Scribbleface's hut. And now, armed with a new map, Gutwad has announced that tonight there would be a big feast in order to drive out the lingering bad luck from the village. But perhaps even more exciting, all of you have been secretly invited to meet Chief Gutwad in his moot house. Why would the chief want to speak to you? It can only mean that he's got a very important mission for you all. One that the other goblins of the tribe could not pull off. This could be your chance to go down in Lictoed history. Over here. A pompous goblin comes out from the moot house. Assemble, goblins of the Licto tribe! I hear forth call all the mighty heroes! First, the step forward to attention. Tim. Would you like to describe your goblin to everyone? <clears throat> yeah, so this is my goblino number one, aka Glizzy. He is a uh, craftsman of sorts. He likes to find knickknacks on the ground and assemble them to a mishmash of parts that slightly resembles a gun, but no one knows if it actually works or not. He thinks himself pretty smart, but I mean, let's be real, he's not. That's Glizzy in a nutshell. Ah, Glizzy! It seems as though you brought your long metal Glizzy to this event. <laughs> yes, I did! Very good! Now, what does this do again? As he peeks his eye into the tube of your gun. It makes fire! Ah! <laughs> Backing out. Immediately after the debacle, Clayton. Would you like to describe the next goblin that steps forward? Sure. Uh, falling, falling face first over the log. Uh, this, this goblin is mostly obscured behind a repurposed set of heavy armor, uh, which makes it difficult for him to move around. Uh, as he writes himself. Uh, he, he, uh, he moves closer to Chief Gutwad? No, I'm Slorb, Chief Gutwad's advisor. Slorb? Yes, Mogog, I'm Slorb. Hmm. No. No, I speak to Gutwad. You're just He's gonna just ignore there. me like that. Indeed. I am the second in command of all this tribe. You have to respect me. I do not. Well, before he begs you to respect him, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, would you like to describe the next goblin that comes to the moot house? Next goblin is a scraggly, bluish green, old looking creature. 
with long, like, wiry hair and a hideously lengthened tongue that cannot possibly fit in her huge mouth. Disgusting. Greetings, Ivy Thoth, the wise woman of our tribe. Oh, Thoth. The looking... smartest goblin. The smartest goblin. No, I'm the smartest. <laughs> no, I'm smartest. Uh, let's be honest here. His mighty girt girthness is the smartest. But then me second, and then Larry third. You, uh, I put you bottom of five. Uh. But you are looking. Extra lactose today, sauce. He eyes you with affection. Thank you. Would you like to lick my frog? This be work. <laughs> Looks around. <laughs> well, if you're offering. Takes a knee and opens his mouth before his tongue can hit the frog. Our next goblin arrives to the moot house, all the way over here. Uh, oh, Lewis, <laughs> would you like to describe your goblin as he tries to walk to the moot house? <laughs> it, 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 it is I, Great Prophet, all knower, and I also trip. <laughs> and then, like, very quickly get up. And, and also the most smartestest goblin, okay? No, I'm smart. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. This is my introduction. Uh, line, line up, Larry. Line. No, over there, Larry. I begin to touching you, his face. No, please. Uh, yes, it's me, Florb, the one who's oh, here. Yeah. It's Florb. Hi, hi, Larry. How are you? Oh, over here, Larry. Over here. What? No, Larry. Larry, you can other, hear other way, line. Larry. Directional <laughs> hearing is real for you, Larry. <laughs> well. It seems I as study though... my new friend Larry. <laughs> <laughs> knives in your, knives in his eye, Larry. To you, Mogog. Well then. <laughs> oh, I have to prepare myself for this one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Must be jam. The fuck out my GM screen's getting so many errors. <laughs> That's great. <sighs> I'm gonna have to reload my GM screen after this. But oh my God. crawling out of the moot house, a hideous eldritch horror. <laughs> Steven. If I could describe your character. Uh, you see a shuddering mass, writhing, protoplasmic green ooze <laughs> slither towards you. The jumbling mass quivers in anticipation. Ah! Combo! Uh, you seem to escape Gutwad's jar! Again! I, I, I don't speak that language. Is he okay? I mean, he's talking. I mean, that's how he talks without lips. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess you can join the party combo. Just uh, pick a side, actually. 
can go yeah go next to Mo Mogog yeah over there and don't touch yeah <laughs> yeah perfect yeah <laughs> well <laughs> that was something the fuck and a combo <laughs> well the goblins hero have all gathered one chasing the other thinking about what they shall be doing in this adventure from behind the moot hut son of the chief a shy goblin peeks over at the heroes jam would you like to describe your goblin yes burbo as you can see is no different from any other goblin. It's the most generic goblin you could ever find. If you were to go into a bestiary and look up a goblin, <laughs> you would see Burbo's face. So generic, so forgettable, it's hard to believe he is the son of the chief. But that's not who approaches the group. All right, Mochi. We've been summoned. You know what that means. Mochi <laughs> appears. <laughs> it's time. Give me the rod. He hands you the rod. <laughs> it is time for the pretty guardian. Moon Prism Power! It, it seems to be working. I hope you preloaded. Please fucking kill me. He nods. <laughs> he nods. <laughs> did, did you charge it? He nods. Nothing seems to be happening! <laughs> what? <laughs> As the monkey says to you. Team Guardian of Blood and Gold, I am here! By the moon's power, I will punish you! Mochi says, hopping on your shoulder. <laughs> what? What is that art, dude? <laughs> I strike uh, the anime pose, you know, legs akimbo, finger pointed at this goblin whose name I don't remember. You have summoned me? Ah, yes, my name is Shlor, and you are... As he peeks closely at the new goblin who approaches. By God! Could it be the sparkling nightmare herself? That's right. There's no one else. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Raiding villages by moonlight. Making love by daylight. I forgot the rest of my lines. It is I, Dodobo. No one? really asked for your song, but, you know, I appreciate it anyway. Why, why don't you come step up here, Doropo? He, he looks at you and as you walk by, gives you a subtle sniff. He, go, go line up next to lives in your eyes. He's quite the celebrity like you too. Points you to the guy with knives in his eyes. Yeah. He smells it. He smells that perfume. <laughs> Larry, it's, it's good to see you again. What? <laughs> I said it's good to see you again, Larry! Oh, hey! How are you doing? It's good. Making direct eye contact with Glizzy over there. 
I share in stone lethal attraction across my legs. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what? Excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know I'm smarter than that one. <laughs> I'll have you know I have ten intelligence. You're so weak. So weak. Anyways, you. Six heroes. Well, five heroes and one abomination. His mighty girthness. Hey! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, talking, I'm talking about combo. He seems alright. You can't see him! <laughs> well, you don't know that. Shut up! <laughs> Especially you, combo. His mighty girthness, Chief Renwaddle Gutwad, wishes to speak with you. But be warned, you are the only goblins who have ever heard him speak other than me, who have lived to tell the tale. Please, wait here as I get him ready. He goes in to prepare his chief. You're left with a moment to yourselves. I bet the rumor of him actually being a volleyball with a face painted on it is actually true. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely true. Is that how you can speak about your father, bro? <clears throat> well then, if you guys are all ready to proceed inside, you must a tale of caution. Chief Renwaddle has been known to have a mighty, booming voice. That the mere sound of it kills goblins. What? Yes, hearing his voice has killed goblins. And you, he is going to speak to you all. <clears throat> That's why he speaks only to Slorb, the only one immune to his power. Be confused all you like. But if you're ready, you hear a COME IN! I mean... Unless you don't want to. What's the stand behind <laughs> come <on. laughs> Oh, Kumbo just went underwater. I trip into whatever is in whatever this pile. <laughs> you all are in the greatest house in all the goblin tribe. The Moot House, with all the goblin treasures and trophies you have ever collected. Gold, jewels, pickled rats, pickled dead goblins, a skeleton of a horse, a living man who doesn't know why he's here, all of it which you've collected over the centuries. It smells really good in here. Uh, why, thank you. <laughs> Sitting upon a six-foot-tall chair, a fat, rotund goblin, Chief Gutwad himself, precariously teeters back and forth on the chair, barely supporting his weight, looking to collapse at any moment now. <sighs> and with a booming voice, You all be heroes! Each of you! You are the best lit toads but for me! And maybe but for Slorb. That you aren't fleeing in terror from the mighty sound of my voice is all the proof you should need. Does anyone want to flee in terror at this moment? <coughs> or die? What? No, but behind the princess. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yet soon, all lip-toed goblins will know your might. For I have picked you for a very dangerous mission. You know your fireworks, ma fireworks and maps we found in Scribbleface's hut? 
The fireworks were fun, but the map is more fun. It shows a route to a place near the coast where Scribbleface found the fireworks. And it says there are even more fireworks there! I want them for the Lick Toads. You all get them tomorrow, but tonight we have big bonfires to burn the bad luck away from you. And we make many, many games. Tomorrow, if you meet men, you make them dead. If you meet dogs, you make them dead. If you meet horses, you make them dead. If you meet lots of legs, eat many goblin babies, you should probably run. And if End you of world! <laughs> and if you should not find the fireworks, you do not come back. Or we'll feed you to Squealy Nerd. Not Squealy Nerd. Right. Lord, um, with that, he heaves in breath. He starts heaving and breathing as if speaking was a lot of effort for this man. I mean, goblin. Man goblin. Slorb comes to console him. Right. No, there, there. Name of mighty girthness. It's okay. Well, you have your mission. Tonight, you party. Enjoy the last day you'll ever live. Bogog rushes outside, hands up raised, screaming, End of world! End of world! Yeah, it's the end of the world. Might want to go through the door, not the wall, oh god. Right, no. no, no. <laughs> go through the wall. Go through the wall. Oh, <laughs> no, I just fixed that! Larry, come. Larry, Larry, no! Chief Gutwood, did you run into Chief Gutwood? Chair? Yes. Alright, make a reflex. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Let me make a perception. Alright. <laughs> Ready. Show me the negative. Yes. 16. Alright, give me an acrobatic. Nice. Luckily, <clears throat> you managed to catch yourself right in front of the teetering chair. His mighty girthness, however, still needs to make an acrobatic check. But all these errors are blocking my path. <laughs> ah! Hold on, I gotta reload. Everyone, get the heck outside, because I fixed this. <laughs> Accumulating errors. <laughs> oh no. If only you could see. Well then, you are all outside with the mission upon you. If there's any prep work you like to do, any groundwork or footwork about your mission, you may go ahead and do what you believe is necessary. If not, you can get ready to party. Where'd Mogog go? There's Mogog. The end of the world. I'm I'm running around to each and every goblin that I see on the map and screaming, End of World is here! Time for End of World! Bogang, End of World! Bogang, End of World! As one of them says, shouts in excitement with you. Glizzy, you said you're smart. A big brain? What's the mission? Fire. Very good mission. I'm work make bomb. You heard him here first. Make it find firework, make boom. Yes. Well, that's what I thought. Just testing you, Glizzy. My pet Glumbo. <laughs> Watermelon. Ooh. 
<clears throat> Come both right, you guys. We have to take this seriously. You're right. We'll need a big celebration. If, you, if one of you dies, I need you to preserve your brains. Try not to get hit in the head. This one even has a head! Combo. I don't know. <clears throat> I touch Combo. Yeah, I'd like to keep poking him. <laughs> Your hand phases through him into a mass of jelly. Part of the protoplasm, as you retract your hand, will stick with you and be a part of you for a long, long time. <clears throat> I'm envious. This is how I would want to be remembered. A little piece of me going wherever everyone goes. It's a little piece of combo. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of combo. <laughs> if only we all could be so lucky to have a little combo in all of us. Well, then. What? <laughs> Are we eating combo? If you want. I don't think he's real, anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, never mind. No. <laughs> well, then. I take a piece of combo and I give some to Larry. Larry, you have combo on your hand. What the fuck? <laughs> you had sauce? We could all die tomorrow. Take some combo. Yeah! End of the world is nigh! Yeah, alright, I'll put a little bit of it in my mouth. <laughs> well, uh, little do you know. Well, it tastes nothing more than a bit salty, a bit pineapple-y. You just ate a goblin and <laughs> committed a bit of cannibalism yourself in that very moment. But it's a little you know, cannibalism between friends. It's a little it cannibalism. It's all right, but I like wouldn't eat it, like you know, out of the jar. You need to put it on something. As you are discussing the delicacy that is combo. Night falls. <clears throat> every, every goblin gather, it's the big bonfire time! Bonfire, so bonfire. The goblins have, will gather in this tribe as they spent all day bringing together the remnants of the books and letters that Scribbleface has collected and made and make a great place for a bonfire. Four goblins drag out the precariously large chief gut wad. <clears throat> As he is outside, he but he protrudes one of the fireworks found in Scribbleface's hut and lights it. I should have preloaded that. Firing it and shooting it at the bonfire. Sparking it to life. And with that, the signal for celebration begins. Hooray, hooray! Burn everything! Right, here at the big bonfire. They've been fermenting a bunch of rotten apples in swamp water. It serves as your pseudo-alcohol for the evening. Many of the goblins partake and drink. Well, all of them, word has spread that you guys shall be going on the adventure. You will be the heroes. 
and many of the goblins take interest in you, willing to share their wisdom about the brine stump marsh to you all, and quite possibly get you to partake in some games. As he lets loose another firework, Chief Goat Watch starts the celebration. This is this evening is your last moment as players to enjoy yourself. To gather your information, to get drunk and wasted, to enjoy your goblin activities, for tomorrow you become heroes. Have at it, everybody. Prepare yourselves. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> Somebody say games! Yes! Games! I love games! You wanna <laughs> play, Glizzy? <laughs> what? You're Glizzy! You're, you're, you're Glizzy, right? Yes! Go. You, you're gonna prove yourself tonight, right? Oh, tomorrow! But tonight you prove yourself! Here and now! Right? Or I You gonna go travel through the brine stump? Even though That's you might stump? The, the fucking marsh we live in! Our fucking home, Glizzy! Oh, I do that. Aren't you the smart <laughs> goblin? Yes, no, wait. I was testing you! Shut up, that's Larry! Don't take his job! <laughs> well then, if you're so bold and confident like a hero, I bet you won't dance with Squealy Nord! Who is the Squealy Nord? You don't oh. know Squealy Nord? Only no. the most fearsome boar in our village! The one who Chief Gutwad feeds all the insolent goblins to! The cannibal boar himself, Squealy Nord! As many of the goblins shake in fear at the sound, at the name of Squealy Nord. <laughs> yeah, my boy, I, I bet you won't dance with them. As he challenges you to a dare. Sh show me where he is! He's in the pit! Pit! The pit pit! Ah! Go look down the pit. My finger's stuck! <laughs> huh? Hold on, let me reload and get rid of this finger. Larry leans his head over the pit. Wow! <laughs> and before Larry falls in. <laughs> As you lean over into the pit, you see nothing but an empty mud pit with a few goblin bones. Well, actually, no, you can't see. You're blind. You have knives in your eyes. <laughs> I'm also looking in the pit for what it's worth. <laughs> wow! <laughs> You see the precarious bones of your friends and families inside the pit. This giant mud pit. 10 feet deep, 20 foot wide. And then, rustling, bubbling to the top, you hear it. An adorable piglet surfaces. It's terrifying. It gives you the most adorable weight. All the goblins shudder in fear at the piglet. What? He gives a little wag of his butt. Yeah! Ah! So you're gonna... You're gonna dance with him, right? I am noticed he'll be afraid. <laughs> I believe. Kind of just lean over the edge. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna do this properly as the goblin grabs you before you jump to your death. I was just looking. 
Get in the wrangling pit! We'll, we'll bring... The wrangling pit! Yeah, we gotta wrangle Squealy Nord so you can sit on him! I gotta catch him! What? No, we'll catch him! Get your ass in that pit, Glizzy. I mean, that pit. Wrangling pen. As these two goblins will use long sticks with ropes attached to them to swing over the neck of Squealy Nord. I'm trying to drag him up to the pit and into the, into the pen. Gumbo, describe him for me. Starts getting closer. I start hesitating. <laughs> the pig looks happy to see you. Adorable. <laughs> It gives a nuzzle to your foot. Ah! Would you like to mount Squealy North? Um, sure. Alright. As you sit upon Squealy North's back, he doesn't seem to struggle or mind that you're on his back. Any last words, Glizzy? Hi. Right. He's dead. Hey, he's delicious. And with that, they open the gate. The squealy Nord, walking him into the pit. Oh, hey, you The moment the gate opens, his hyperactivity lets loose like a bolt of lightning and starts dancing with you. I need you to make me a ride check to hold on. I can't click my token. Please hold. <laughs> I'm gone! I vanished. Nope, keep going. Use it from the character sheet. Okay. You, <laughs> you managed to hold on to Squealy Nord, lasting for a whole six seconds. The crowd! <laughs> Who believe you were dead begins growing larger as someone has lasted six whole seconds with Squealy Nord. Make another one. Is he dead yet? No! Glizzy's doing it! He's dancing with the terrifying Squealy Nord! He's not dead at all! With that, you last another round with Squealy Nord. Inconceivable. Go ahead and make another one. Why do I keep closing my sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're good at riding. What the fuck? Is he dead yet? <laughs> Unfortunately not. And with that... He's not even on fire. I go back over to the fire. And with that, an explosion happens, and you tumble off Squealy Nord's back, managing to ride Squealy Nord. Shit, it's crap! Speed that many people haven't done before. As you fall off, Squealy Nord shoves his face into your belly, nuzzling you. Point my gun at it. <laughs> he begins. He begins affectionately rubbing his head and, and on top of the gun. Thinking you're scratching, gonna scratch his head with it. And start circling him. The gun pointed at him the whole time. Oh, you did a good job! As coming <laughs> forward, Schlorb comes to the edge of the pit. Well done, Glizzy! It seems as though you've caught the attention of his mighty girthness. And he's willing to give you a gift for your efforts. Get the hell out of that pit, and don't get eaten by Nord! Shut up! I gladly run out of here. Oh, <laughs> freaking Larry. Shut up. <laughs> well then, as you make your way to Schlorb, Schlorb will present to you 
A gift. Steven is slurp. <laughs> Steven is not slurp. He just looks like a slurp. Steven is a combo. <clears throat> slurp crawls up to the teetering chair, grabs something, and presents it to you. You find yourself an item known as. Whoa, let me open up the inventory and give it to you. The Dragon's Brew Gourd. What? Please give. You receive a gourd filled with a precarious liquid. It's a little bit of combo. It's a little bit of combo. <laughs> I don't have anything, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you. I have to enable the right and then. Hey! Dragon's Brew Gold. In your inventory now. It's Whatever an you elixir, want. sir. Now, it's called it's Dragon's Brew. <laughs> it's not identified. True. It's not identified. Okay, I'm just saying it's just an elixir. <laughs> I hold it up. What is it? It's the Dragon's Brew Gore! Oh. Yeah, drink one of them. You drink it? It has three charges. Go ahead drink and activate it. You can go ahead and activate it if you want. <laughs> it requires a target. To press it. <laughs> you target something and then press it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How do I press it? Target and then press uh -huh. it. Uh huh. Press what? Uh, does that be identified? <laughs> Go, for like it's just an item. <laughs> Go for it now. Go for it now. There it goes, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> JESUS CHRIST! <laughs> Why does he keep saying that? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh god! Why is this goblin burns to death? I cheer. <laughs> I cheer and I pat Glizzy on the back. Burn everything in the world! <laughs> no. Combo the brain of mine. <laughs> this man's dead, everybody. <laughs> now it's a party. <laughs> this combo consumes the burning body. <laughs> everything but the brain. As a long tongue lashes at the body that Gumbo is on. Move, Gumbo. <laughs> My animations. <laughs> right. This goblin is consumed, everybody. For your pleasure. <laughs> Oh, the goblins all celebrate joyous as the evening goes on. There are more games to be had. As the winner of the last challenge, all the other goblins seem to gather around the new celebrity glizzy. Trying to get him to do literally everything. Hey! Hey! Burn me alive next! Hey! Hey, you wanna do a dare? As they all hound you. What? Point to the princess. princess. Yes, what? That's not yeah. the princess. She's low. Princess. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not actually a prince. Or a princess. Wait, are you a prince? As the one goblin comes up, are you a prince or a princess? What do you think? And I gyrate at him. They don't even know the difference. And the power thrust. Oh! Will you be my bride? As a no. goblin comes close to you. Hey, move over, she's mine! Hey! <laughs> I, I don't, 
don't know what you've had, but idols must stay single. <laughs> Prove yourself, maybe. Mm. Prove myself! I, I, I can eat a bag of worms really quick! Jump into the fire! No! No! We'll eat a bag, all of us! We'll all eat a bag of bull rooms real, real quick! And the fastest one to do it will get your hand in marriage! You're a bunch of cowards! Slurb will step up. Jump into up. the fire! Slurb will step up. We can't go around burning all of our goblins, and besides, this is a great tradition that all Lictoads do. In fact, the winner of it, I think the one person who eats the bullworm is the fastest will get a gift. A beautiful dagger. As he protrudes a giant dog slicer from his inventory. Froth will eat the worms. My money? I have money! If you like to eat the worms, please line up where Slorb is. <laughs> Dash and so rolls with it over. I dive straight through the fire. Picking up. Present. Move, move over. Get back in line. I said move over! Now that there's many, many bullworms for all of you! Is it gonna be you three who wants to eat the bullworms? I will not eat. I will only watch and judge. <laughs> Which one will be get your hand in marriage? Got it. Well. I like- Gosh. Anyone- when any of you three like to give me a knowledge nature check, I know what bullworms are. Yeah. No. Alright, then don't do it. Oh, you give me a second. <laughs> Please <laughs> tell me what bullworms are. <laughs> Delicious. Sauce. Sauce. <laughs> bullworms are big, thick, sausage like slugs that when you chew will scream and produce a sticky, semi-poisonous slime. What is important to know about eating them is that you must spit out the, uh, the slime bladder that they have, which will take a lot more time than usual, slowing you down. Because swallowing it will be kind of poisonous. Fucking knives in your eyes, Larry. You know for certain one thing and one thing only. You are eating the babies, the small little Varician babies of the sa of the town of Sandpoint. By imbibing upon these babies, you will feel a lot smoother, slicker, and can't be contained, especially your mouth. And you know this for a fact, a literal fact. But you gotta eat the whole thing. Oh no, it gets better. It's compounding. The more you eat, the better you get. The more slicker you become. You want to be slick, don't you? You gotta eat the whole damn worm. Trust me, I know everything. In your inventory of each participant, you have five bull slugs. You may... Begin consuming the slugs. <clears throat> you all you have to do is click it and then make a fortitude save. <laughs> Give me a fortitude save, and if you decide to not spit it out, let me know. Hey, hold up. All right, all right, all right. Tumbo has one down. Sauce has one down. I spit out the. The bladder. What about you, Combo? Do you spit it out? <laughs> Combo always swallows. Combo <laughs> swallows. Got it. Okay. Mocha, do you spit out the bladder? I I have no idea what that is. Do you chew or swallow? I'm eating everything. I, I was not given specific instructions. Yeah, I just want to know if Mogog chews or swallows. Swallows. 
Got it. Mogug, you have consumed one bull slug. Everyone, begin again. There's four more each. <laughs> the screams. It's us. Do you <laughs> swallow? No. Got it. Mogog swallow? What you? I'm assuming auto swallow for everyone. Auto though. swallow. Yeah. Auto no. swallow. Got it. Mogog and Sauce, you guys are still chewing that on your second bowl of arm. Combo, you're on number three. <laughs> Go ahead and keep chewing on it. You guys are still on number two. Combo's three. More screams. The combo. You are still digesting this bull slug into your mass as it begins spewing slime, fish tasting slime inside of you. Everyone, you guys can still make the fight? Yep. Mogog and Sauce, keep going. You guys are still, you're still on number two, Mogog. Ah. Sauce, you are on number three now. You caught up a combo. Let's go, next round. Combo three, Mogog two. Mogog! You are still on number two. <laughs> as, it, be, as you try the swallowing, it's fighting in your throat, coming slowly back up, fighting for its life. Sauce, you're on number four. Combo, you are on number three still. I'm gonna take a moment to regroup. Gather my energy and shout at the world, EVERYTHING MUST BE DESTROYED! <laughs> well, show show the world that everything must be destroyed. With another fourth save, you swap ah! <laughs> Combo! I wish I were a gelatinous slime. <laughs> Combo's on four. Sauce, you are on your final one. You're swallowing still? <laughs> Sauce, you Delicious. have chewed and protruded all five slime bl bladders on your long tongue. As the other two failures in chewing and swallowing the slime batter. I need you two to give me another fortitude save. Four, three. Uh, fifteen plus. What? You? How many you swallow, Steven? Four. I don't remember. Don't worry, you failed no matter what it is. You're sickened for twenty-four hours. Jesus. Mogog, you got three. Eighteen. You are not sickened for 24 hours. Oh, well. Mm. You have done well, Sas. A slug comes forward. There is no insect I cannot eat. Those aren't insects. Those are children. What's the difference? Well, not much. Well, with that, Chief, you will receive the. Do you will see receive Gorge of Gluttons, a dog slicer. However, where the hell is Socks in this list? Hey, Socks. There you go, Socks. Enjoy your new dog slicer. However, this belongs to his mighty girthness, and he would like it back after your adventure. Is it magical? Uh, do you have detect magic? Yes. You detect magic, and you find out that it is indeed magical. Wow. <laughs> Enjoy Can I identify it. Go ahead. Give me a spellcraft. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Right. I will. It is identified. Enjoy. I lick the blade. 
As you lick the blade and cut your tongue, you have a plus one horse bane dog slicer. Incredible. I'm very good at cutting horses. What is a dog slicer? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say, Glizzy? <laughs> Not Don't you ever, <laughs> ever insult the mighty items of his early girthness! Point the fire. <laughs> well then! If we're already doing this, how about we prove ourselves even further? Would our heroes like to indulge in the challenge of stealth? To see if they can weasel their way past lots of legs, eat goblin baby many? Not that I would ever weasel my way. I never back down from a fight. Oh! oh. But yes, I, I, I will. Oh, okay. A line up here! Do you like to participate in the next game of stealth? Would you like hey, to just whoa. line up? Get the fuck back here, Sauce. As I pass by you. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. I shoot you a wink. Why <laughs> <laughs> is she so beautiful? <laughs> Blushes. You're so flattered. I will win the f f prince's affections. One of the, the goblins tugs on your knife, Larry. Larry! Larry! What? You. This is the game. I know this game. You'll win this one for sure. Sure, whatever. I stand up and begin rocking, walking the wrong way. He begins <laughs> pulling you the opposite direction. Oh! Over here! Ah! I knew that! <laughs> <laughs> With Mogog or Combo like to participate? I don't know if that's oh. a yes or no. Alright, is Sauce in it or not? No, I'm good. Okay, you three. Alright, our next challenge is a very important skill for all goblins to have. If you don't have this skill, you're basically not a goblin. And we'll see how better of a goblin you are than the rest of us. We'll play Hide or Get Club. You three will hide somewhere around this village, and we'll try to find you. If we find you, we'll beat you to death. Last person to not be found wins a prize. How about it? Well, personally, I prefer to be the one clubbing. No, nope. still, I'll still win. I don't know how you'll see me in all this darkness, but sure. All the goblins around Larry being snickering. Well then. Well then, I'm gonna count to... 69,000! You guys go hide! Mizzy. It's gonna be really hard to beat Larry. He spends his whole life hiding from his problems. <laughs> and look at Larry just like wandering in towards the fire. <laughs> I, think I don't so. think I've ever met someone more lost or hidden than Larry. I mean, yeah, but he's right there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Alright, choose your hiding spots. Where would you like to be? Some hiding spots have bonuses. Some of them don't even meet the prerequisites for stealth. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Wherever you like to be, you can go. Yes, Larry. What are you looking for? You hear the to sound? see if I get lost in the woods. 
All right, Larry, give me one D4. The to arbit how many minutes you go walking for. Larry, you are lost in the woods. All right. <laughs> Larry, you are literally gone. We'll He's one of them lost. He's we'll actually still so good at this game. We'll see Damn if the right. can find you. <laughs> <laughs> you find a good, you trip over a good rock, and then you just curl up into a ball and hide. Then, Larry, you choose this little, oh, this little fishing pond over here. They'll never find robo. me. You want this fishing pond here? Where's the fishing pond? Jam? What? Where's the fishing jam? Yeah, jam. Over here. A little slime. Oh, is that what this oh, is? Oh, that's water. Hey, that's water. water. Oh, oh shit, I thought it was like a grassy knoll. <laughs> With a bottle in it. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I it's thought it was like a broken something? bottle. I mean, that's, that's one really way to like... obfuscate your presence. <laughs> There's a fishing pole right there, bro. Oh, yeah. And here. Where's Glizzy? The chief's hut. Inside the chief's hut. <laughs> On the case. Give me I'll a crawl stealth. Crawl around and scream, like, <laughs> crawl underneath them. Give me a stealth check with the both of you. Is it still kind of woodsy here over in this pond? Yeah, the there's a tree there. there. There's yeah, wood there. there. Yeah, you can hide there if you like. Hey, whatever. I'm going over here. Tucked away, safe spot. So you're gonna hide underneath, tucked between a cart and a, a raised hut. Got it. All right, the Robo, 22, 23, literally the highest stealth people ever. Each of you roll me a d10 to determine how many goblins are looking for you each individually. Seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Larry. Larry God, I'm dead. <laughs> You're just gone, dude. So it's rough. You win, one though. Gob the one goblin who coax you into joining this game feels bad about it and he's the only one that goes looking for you he does not find you <laughs> however everyone else over here hiding between the cart and the hut the robo the sparkling nightmare that's your name right yeah that's right um, Three, four, five, six, seven. Any of them beat 20? No, you are unfound. And here in the chief's hut, a total of five? Yes, sir. Come on, we don't want to beat someone to death here. Four and big old five. None of them can find any of the goblin heroes. Now, I would like you guys to tell me how long you would like to hide for. Hell on found. Okay. <laughs> Are you the robot? Fucking 1d6 one one yeah. hours. 1d6 hours? Everyone, everyone do 1d6 hours right now. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Week of will be. <laughs> so, eventually, after 10 minutes, the goblins give up and don't care anymore, and they literally continue with the party. <laughs> they literally leave you guys to hide. <clears throat> I would like. <laughs> I would like the two of you to return. I would like Knives in the Eyes Larry to give me a, a survival check and a perception check. Oh boy. It's really dedicated to his craft! Alright, give me a perception check. Alright, you know where north is. Unfortunately, you don't know where north is. So you go in the direction that you are assuming north is. I guess <laughs> no direction. <laughs> do you have that spell? I do! Go for it, cast it then! I, I do the... That is some expert spell choice right there. <laughs> yeah. That man knows. That man knows what's up. 
right? Let's see. <laughs> I want to know how long this lasts for. I have no idea, dude. You instantly know north from your current position. That means I'll let the survival check ride as is. You'll be able to manage to find your way back. However, being blind, and if you're not going at full speed, you're going to... I can move full speed while blind. You can move full speed while blind? Yeah. Okay, then. Well, you'll be back somewhere after the final game. Because <laughs> you Hooray! were hiding for six hours. <laughs> I win! You're the one who did say, I want 1d6 hours. <laughs> Everyone, you've all returned in shame, and they declare the winner as Knives in His Eye Larry, the prophet of the Clicto tribe, as they all cheer and enjoy. Um, he'll probably return eventually, right? I told you, Glizzy. No one, no one hides better than Larry. You were kidding. Where's Larry? Anyways! <laughs> <laughs> if he dies, I want the prize! No! It goes to his grave! Okay! <laughs> Take it anyways! I mean, I gotta, I gotta prize this! I'm being so greedy, Glizzy! I like shiny! If you like shiny, you probably like the rusty ear biter! You don't know the greatest invention of all lictodes? The one that caused the cultural renaissance of our tribe? That I, spawned I my innovation gun. of agriculture? It's way better than that little tube thing you got that shoots shit. <laughs> this literally inspired many goblin generations for thousands of years. And you compare it to that tube? Come with me! All of you, come, come with me! As he's going to lead you all to the back of the moot hut. What? Lizzie, I can't believe you would say something so controversial. <laughs> <laughs> but that thing can fucking shoot bullets! Or rocks! Or fire! Glizzy's out of the running. <clears throat> Behold! The agricultural invention of the century! The e oh god, he went through it! The oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to... That's better. <laughs> this is a rusty ear biter. Before you, you see a giant tube made from rusty daggers, swords, and thorns. Kind of like a long, stretched 20-foot tube of barbed wire. The greatest invention of all lictodes. Isn't it amazing? It is pretty cool. This does fire! Is, what? It does better than that! There's nothing better than fire! No, 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 no. You crawl through it, you become a stronger goblin! That's just how it is! No! Fire in this world! Don't listen to him! You're telling me these guys figured out how to farm EXP? <laughs> yes! This is an EXP farm! <laughs> go on! If you want to try it out for yourself and experience the might, go ahead and squeeze on through! Would you like to be the first one there, Oh god. Oh yeah, I'm not- I'm not listening to this fucking ponce. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here with this, and I'm doing it head first. Give me <laughs> a escape artist check. Oh, this is gonna be great! It's gonna be fantastic. Cat in the world! How does this help with agriculture? <laughs> you don't understand! Random <laughs> goblins on the ground that I'll bring up. <laughs> Amazing. 13? That's very good. And by very good, good, I mean not good enough. <laughs> As your ears nicked by one of the swords. Oh no. You, you manage Get in the world now! <laughs> take, you take one damage. It's lethal, not non-lethal. It lies to me! Yeah, it lies. Alright. But you crawl five feet forward if you like to go again. You're oh, still not there? Yeah. 
Right. Forward, not back. Forward, not back. My my very best could possibly not beat it, so like let's just keep doing that over and over. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. There we go. There's another wound as you crawl forward. Okay, you're not out of the, the barbed wire yet. You take two damage. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to worry. One, one last stretch. Do you want me to burn it down? Kinda. I do like burning things. It's fine. I, for one, believe in Mogog. As you manage to get out of it without the tip of your nose anymore. But I'm sure it'll regrow back. Still have hit points! Well, unfortunately, you have failed getting out of it unscathed. <laughs> oh, wait, combo? You go in combo? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Wow! Ah! He's the strongest of us all! Combo! I'm impressed. Well, <laughs> Combo, unlike Mogog, you deserve a prize. Here. Uh, Mogog stomps on Slork's foot. <laughs> <laughs> As he drops on the floor. A you wait, which one is it? He drops on the floor a robe that he protrudes from his pockets. <laughs> oh my foot! My delicate, precious! Do you consume the ro the robe? Absorbs the robe. Alright, I'll, I'll put a robe in your inventory. <laughs> Come on. Here you go. You have a robe. An unidentified robe. Inside... Uh, this is a magical robe. You can tell, Sauce. Wow. Can I identify this one too? Yeah, go ahead. Don't cry. DC, not enough. Unless you want to be assisted by any of these smart people. Guess not, though. <laughs> Murph is wise. Where's the prophet? <laughs> it's not. It's not a good robe, and no one here is good. <laughs> At least, right. to my knowledge. What about the frog with the straw baby? That's a neutral creature. And right. it hint Murph, uh, Murph hungs the robe and comes up with false predictions about what it does. Murph is very wise. Now, this robe is useless. <laughs> As he. As the, the rope goes from on the back of Kumbo and slowly seeps into his body, lots of things fly out of the robe and start floating within Kumbo. <laughs> Some of the many things that you see are a, horse a tiny version of a horseshoe, a tiny version of a ladder, a tiny version of a three-legged turtle, and a speaking trumpet. A.K.A. the Pathfinder universe of a megaphone. And a tiny version. Gonna reach inside of Kumbo and take that turtle. As you take it out off of Kumbo, the turtle animates and becomes a real three-legged turtle in your hand. Wow. It looks at you and says, KILL ME! I eat the turtle whole. The turtle dies. <laughs> You've done it. He fulfilled his wishes. Kumbo, I hope you don't mind. And I take the Pathfinder version of a megaphone. <laughs> hey, you just let these people take these items from you? Well, I was going to say, I well, we're robbing Kumbo. I want that horseshoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Gumbo can resist whenever he wants. <laughs> if it makes it easier or better for Gumbo, I do it suggestively. <laughs> I slide off one of my gloves very he's, sensibly. He's angry about it. I need you guys to make a CMB check if you're gonna do it forceful. If you want to do it forcefully, make a CMB check and Gumbo will make a attack of opportunity if he so wish. You're doing it forcefully. <laughs> Combo, does that beat the CMD? No. Do you want to make an attack of opportunity against them? No. You have... Your hand cannot glide inside the body of Combo, Mogog. As well, it solidifies and hardens. I don't embarrass myself by trying again. <laughs> but what about you? I wanted a turtle! Did it at least taste good? Yes. Okay. The robot? No, I understand, Gumbo. Consent is important, but you'll see why it's... You'll see why. Are you, are you sure, GM? Are you absolutely sure? Because that's who I was trying to target earlier, not the fucking Ro. Who? Uh, you're trying to... What? This giant, unfamiliar person. <laughs> this guy, right? <laughs> that, the combo, correct? No. Oh. Combo makes perfect sense to me. The weirdo behind combo. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, no items. All I know is that no items have been able to been released from combo, except from the swift hands and curiosity of Sots. For the useless three-legged turtle. Mogog, because I am so generous, I will give you a gift. You may lick Mark the Vision Toad. Would yeah, like okay. Me? I lick Mlurp. What does Mlurp the Mlurp is actually a vision toad. Mlurp is hallucinogenic. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Let me look up vision toad. <laughs> it doesn't do anything mechanically. This part. You can look at my inventory. Yeah. <laughs> On the case. As you lick the toad. A signature of the Lick Toad tribe. Licking Toad is probably one of the rite of passages that many of the goblins undertake. You begin seeing visions. A giant oh, face. Oh no, not again. A giant face of sauce comes out from underneath your feet and reminds you the cold hearted truth of this world that you live in. As Sauce speaks, she says, <clears throat> Nothing is real. It is all an act, a play that you and your fellow heroes are committing. You will die on this adventure, and it will mean nothing except for the entertainment of a handful of arbitrary humans from another universe. And then it begins raining horses as they fall from the sky, collapsing, breaking their bodies, exploding all around you. And that's basically your night for like four hours. It's kind of chill. Yeah, no, it just vibes. Just vibes, you know. <laughs> well then. Later in the night. <laughs> you return six hours later. Mulgog, if you can tell me what you've learned on your vision quest, I will lend you the chieftain's treasure. World is ending. Everything's pointless.
good. Where's my winnings? I win, right? <laughs> Let's go do this thing. I'm gonna give Morgag the, the Gorge of Gluttons. Would you like the Gorge of Gluttons, Morgag? He accepts it, but he like, he sort of holds it sort of dead in his hands. What he was really excited about earlier now seems to fill him with a deep melancholy and, a, and an emptiness. And he just stares sadly at the blade. <laughs> we will kill everyone! Yeah. Also, let me help you with your blade. Can I, uh, I would like, if, with, with your permission, I would like to glue it to your hand. Yeah, whatever. I'm real open to ideas right now. <laughs> this ritual will ensure proper use of the artifact. I have I have all chemical glue in my inventory. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I happily watch you squirt this this uh, noxious liquid into my hands and then clasp them firmly around this magical sword. <laughs> Go ahead and give him the sword. I'll give you guys permissions of each other's character sheet. Okay. Oh. Whoa. <clears throat> well then, Larry, my good friend, the most intelligent man in the world. That's me! Goblin man, I mean. Whatever. Where you go? No one could find you! <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Found a rock! You were just hiding rock. Behind, you were hiding behind a rock for six hours? I mean... Nobody found me, so... I was just kind of chilling. Huh? We tried really hard. We spent all six hours looking, and we still couldn't find you. Meaning you. I believe that. <laughs> Meaning you are deserving of a ring that will make you even more stealthier. Fuck balancing. Well, let's just go all the way. As he did, puts. A ring into your hands. Don't do it! I love Larry! I want to be able to see him again! I, I I turn my head towards you, and my face is like, you know, at the end of Lord of the Rings when when um, Frodo is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it on. As when you put it, you... You receive the the ring that will make you more stealthy. It's called the ring that lets you climb real good. And you put it on. All right. And you feel as though your hand. Good at gripping things now. Holy hell! You look way more stealthy. I can't see you. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That's crazy, Larry. Well then, I'm gonna go get wasted and go nap. That's all the games we have for you. If you guys go prepare or go die tomorrow, I don't really don't care. As? Fuck you. Out of character, giving a ring of climbing to a blind character is hilarious because, like, <laughs> that's the one thing you don't want is verticality. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Uh, quick question. Do uh, I. Do I know how to get to this place where the fireworks are at? Would you like to ask? Yeah, if I, if I don't know automatically. Depends who you like to ask. I'm gonna ask, uh... Swarm. Where'd he go? He's right here in the center. Swarm. Huh? What? How we be get to the fireworks? Oh, yes! Uh, yeah, you gotta go through the Brine Slump Marsh as he protrudes the map and then he shoves it into your mouth. Yeah, follow the sacred dotted line. No words or instructions, thank God. Only safe pictures for you to follow. If you follow the dotted line, 
you'll be able to find points to the map this whatever the hell this thing is and it looks unless you give me a knowledge engineering check it kind of looks like a wooden structure that's towered don't know it well you don't know how to have knowledge engineer. Describe it to me! <laughs> describe it to Larry. As you are described the... Uh, I'd tell you what it tastes like first. What is it? Tastes like paper? Tastes like... Chalky. Larry and... I, be, Larry. I, pull out, I pull out some chalk and begin drawing it on your face. <laughs> I will totally hold still to interpret... It looks like this. What, what does the face drawing look like? So, I, I, I trace it. Knives in the eye, Larry. You know for a fact that that is not a wooden tower. That is all an illusion, but rather a giant stone pit that she's drawing on your face. A massive, massive pit. If you make if you're making every inch of your face a mile it goes all it goes super far down you're getting sent into a pit Blizzy. that's actually a boat a landlocked boat a powered boat huh? <laughs> Yeah, there must be like some kind of wizard or something that like made the pit look like a tower. So the people who made the map made a mistake. I would never doubt a prophet, but how it looks like water. How does a pit become a tower, Larry? As a goblin says. Are you questioning the wizards? No, no, no. I would never question someone who has more knives in their eyes than me. I'm sorry. I would like to target the offending goblin. Huh? Stare okay. him dead in the eyes. Scream, kill everything, and rush at him with my new dog slicer. Ah! I need some violence. Make an I need some roll. violence. Make a charge. Oh. <laughs> Get yourself a plus two here. Alright. Alright. <laughs> We'll use this with a plus two. That's easy enough. And he is not a horse. No, he's not a horse. It's still a plus one on top. You have stabbed this poor goblin. Oh god, I'm bleeding! So I'm not a prophet! Oh god! I'm uh, sorry! And now, relieved, I, uh, I leave him to his injury. Oh! I, I feel much better. Oh god! Oh, that hurts! Oh! I was feeling a little better. Oh, it's gotta breathe. Oh, he's breathing out. Oh, get Lerp. off me! Lerp comes over and just starts tonguing the wound. <laughs> Wanted this in my life, that why is what? my I'm sorry, Larry. <laughs> As a goblin rocked back and forth in pain. Well, that's a party, Slorp says. No, I warn you, this line right here on the map passes through the land of lots of legs, eat goblin baby many. Okay? So you gotta be very, very careful that he doesn't eat you or your babies. What eat us? A giant spider! It has way too many legs to be a spider. Spider? Spider! Giant! Spider. I, yes, spider! Yeah, you know what a spider is. Now that's just one of the dangers. You might run into a pack of wild dogs or giant insects. But you can handle those. The mother hates dogs. 
kill everything, especially dogs. What is? Why is Mogo keep saying? I'm down with what he's saying, but he just keeps screaming. Because we will kill everything. Oh, yeah. I believe in Glizzy. Uh, what? Glizzy wasn't even the part of this. I mean, fuck dogs, though. We have no chill. I don't know that you're supposed to do that, Glizzy. They don't stop you. Well then. What? Well then. With that, the night can come to an end unless there's more things you like to ask. There is about one more thing Go. before it comes to an end. Everyone has gathered here for my idol concert. Right. As the music stops. And the celebration ends. Everyone looks at the robe in front of the fire. It's time for the last song. DM, please play my music while I roll. Yeah, sure. Whatever you need. Oh, God. It's in the jam folder. Here you go. This is the only song I have for you. That's the one. Please be good. In <laughs> acceptable. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All the goblins start lining up in the circle to watch you perform. <laughs> I'm a crash your shit, yo. <laughs> what do you mean? The goblin crowd goes wild with a twinkling nightmare herself. What's happening? A performance! And then the guy who was just stabbed but now infatuated says, Oh, slurp. <laughs> Starts gaining hard eyes. But here's the real test. I finish it. Finish my song that I totally performed really well. <laughs> yeah. By looking at Mogog and winking. Oh no. Oh, see, it failed. It didn't launch off. Mogog, how do you feel about this? Mogog slows, slowly stands, raises his dog slicer above his head, and screams. Woo! <clears throat> You've made a fan this day, the Robo. That's all I ever wanted. Oh. Anime, run away. As... He runs away to the solitude of his hut. The night ends. The fire dies. And the morning after comes the day of your adventure. So we get on our way, everybody. Before I sleep, I'll cure light wounds on Mogog. Mogog. For, for a shiny. Okay. Yeah. I has a shiny. Get you. Hooray. Two. For two. I'm happy with two. Well then. Let me just put Chieftain back in his hut. Because I also heal one for sleeping, right? Yep. Yes, sir. You press that rest button, you get it all back. Dumbo, oh, yeah, there's even a button. Never mind. Yep. I was going to do it manually. Well, then. Any objections? I'll move us to the traveling. You guys <laughs> follow the map, correct? Yes, the sacred line. The sacred line. I'll hail the sacred line. As long as you all I follow. I probably get us there faster, but sure. Why not? <laughs> Do you like oh. to try? 
disrespect the line. Larry! Larry! I love you, but never disrespect the line again. What? <laughs> well then. Never disrespect the line. I assume that you guys don't leave the <laughs> sacred line. We can move on. Lean in real close on your face and slowly whisper. What? <laughs> I lean in just as close. Literally Vision! centimeters away. Don't God! disrespect Look! a line. In preparation for this journey, I have eaten a whole bag of the holy food. You don't need to transform. You eat a baby! This is a good song. This is to show the wackiness of your walking ability. Wow. Can we kill the fire? Oh, yeah. Or are we. <laughs> I forgot the fire. <laughs> We're in love with that fire, though. Don't love fire! Ran and heavy plate boy. <laughs> yeah, hello. That's that's your that's your heavy plate boy here. I know. <laughs> Some ah! years of war shit. Let me just run into cover real quick. Well then, you guys. <laughs> wow, a very anime of you. <laughs> hey, as you guys travel. Any survivals? Any uh, perception checks? Uh, you are following the map, so you are. It's gonna be quite easy for you. You're not doing you anything. Gotta look, ar look around, I guess. Yeah. Go you guys on, just have to follow the sacred line. The Wesley. You need to stop I trust other people to handle that. I know, I roll high as shit, actually. It's great. <laughs> I'm looking around, making sure that nothing's sneaking up on us. <laughs> Hell yeah, familiar perceptions. Woo! Damn, you damn familiars! Ruining my action economy! <laughs> 24, 16, 18, 12, 12, 12, 12. <clears throat> Let me roll this thing. Whoa. Yes, I understand. Right, every single one, you know, Combo's literally on it. This Combo moves aside. As you walk over this log, inside the hollow log is filled with webs. But with an amalgamation of goblin skeletons and various smaller animals stuffed within this spider web log. You guys should have permission to view and loot this stuff, right? Wow. Potions. <clears throat> you guys can take anything you want, just let me know. And delete the once you drag it into your inventory, delete it from the 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 log. There you go. I'd like to immediately eat one licorice flavored taffy, please. Don't touch that taffy. He eats a licorice flavored taffy. <laughs> There's now, now five licorice flavored taffy. Make take the cross. They're candy. Bowl. I start licking the potions to eh. determine their their uh, contents. Give me three spellcraft checks. In your head. Where? <laughs> Somewhere to, to your left. One, two, three. To your other left. No, 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 you're left! Fail! Success! Fail! I stuff a pearl into my mouth. Who took the red potion? Oh, I did. did. Alright. Well, you identified the red potion in your inventory. Not the two red potion, but the red red potion. 
Let's do something important about spiders! Potion of bull strength. Yes. I have taken one potion. No, delete that. It's in the fucking sauce's inventory. She just didn't <gasps> need it. I thought she took the other red potion. I no, she took it. all the potions! My god! It's so greedy! The I give you this person. It will let you breathe fire. Ah. I do love fire! What potion is she? Wait, what? Can I? Have? I give you this person. It will make you invisible. Uh, Glizzy? Glizzy? I like invisibility! I sneak out a little good! Boom! Are you putting it in the inventories? I did, I gifted. It's I not identified to me, but... <laughs> yeah, it's not identified. Like <laughs> don't want to be too about. But the ethic potion. That's mine. I only have one left. What if I traded you for fire in a bottle? What? You don't want it, I want it. I don't want it. I want this. Lizzie, as they discuss, you with your massive perception notice something crawling above you, hearing a sound. And I start running. <laughs> Go ahead. We can roll initiative if you want to yell to people. Don't run yet. Okay. Wait, initiative. Well then. Do you inform everyone or nah? Because you saw it. I mean, I'm literally screaming at the top of my lungs. Yeah, but you do it. And I start I running away nice from it, so right. they can look if they want. Is that really that strange, though? The real reason, like, why doesn't Sauce want to give up the potion? That's that's the real question. <laughs> yeah, we're doing important things in this huddle. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> hey. Hey, wait, no, if, if you don't want it, I'll take the fire potion. I don't want the fire potion. We have rolled initiative. I got you. Don't worry, the night in the eye, Larry. The DM's here to guide you blind. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, right. did you not fully heal yesterday? Oh, shit. Coming in with some Mogog. Whoop. We oh, are one. on initiative. Right. You hear a screaming <laughs> guy. Well, you hear Glissy scream. Uh, Larry. <laughs> I'll count Goblino one. Why don't you guys have names? I don't know, I thought I changed name. mine. Nah, it's the t it takes the token name, not your character name. I, yeah, but I thought I, I thought I updated my token earlier. Right, you I have to it. save update. You gotta do it from your feet, too. Oh, I got I I saved mine, but it didn't apply to this page. Maybe that's what happened. What does Larry do? As I fix everyone's name. Um. Are, are we fighting? <laughs> you, heard... <laughs> you heard a screaming goblin. Um. I, I will reactively begin screaming on my own. <laughs> Got it. That's a good plan. <clears throat> I can't oh? use feature. Wait, is it not full? I think I got it. Oh mean, god, I cast wall song. of text. No, not for, <laughs> not for me. I have the last card. So. Goblins, goblins, we be goblins. I turn around and start running. At the direction of the screen? Yeah, in the direction of that. Alright. You're scald, bro. 
That's all the actions I have. He is. Yes. For everyone to know, he is currently 20 foot high. In a tree. I don't know how the bonuses work for you guys. I don't know if you have to like take a buff or anything like that. Is it just a standard buff? It's raging song. Like, so, no archetype or anything? Yeah. It's just raging song standard. Anybody have a buff that we could add to our sheet? You can search raging song and add it to your sheet. Correct. Lizzie. Oh, and I draw my weapon. Yeah. Which is a katana. <laughs> you draw a katana. Oh god, it's so big! Burn! What's the range increment of your... Oh, that one, I mean. He's going to make a reflex save. He's gonna take full damage from that. <laughs> and it's still standing after that? Yeah, it's still standing. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> it is a giant spider. Also, Mocha. I see the standard, by the way, to use that. What? The standard activated item? Yes, it's a standard. Okay, yeah. And then I just move away. Moga! Oh, kill him! Spider! Funny V high. Giant. Yeah, um, so the real question, though, is, 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 uh, is, is Durabo literally holding the potion that lets you breathe fire? That I believe lets you breathe fire. Uh, I... If so, <laughs> then my action is to try and, my, my action is to try and take that potion away and go, no talk, use potion fire now. I do. I give. Okay. I down whatever this potion is, and then I expect to shoot fire at the spider. What potion did you give the robo? The red one. It was alchemist fire. Wait, did what? I just drink oh, alchemist God. fire? Excellent. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, bro. You're about, like to like have an, <laughs> you're about to have alchemist diarrhea, bro. <laughs> you, so you I would him... like. I believe I just administered alchemist's fire to my own face. <laughs> no, <I'm... laughs> I would be like, no, no, drink! Throw! Please! Throw. Please throw. Please stop me. Just spit it out. Okay. Get... Just throw it. <laughs> Just throw it. I, w I would like you to give me a diplomacy check here to try and stop him, or a CMB check. This is a more reactive thing rather than a, a mechanical thing here, okay? Diplomacy or yeah. intimidate? Uh, go ahead. Neither one. I need the thing that can give Clayton a good arbiter of what he should do. <laughs> Very forcefully, I say. <laughs> oh, drink! Throw! <laughs> I do not understand why you are being a crazy person. We do not want a fire-breathing spider, but I throw it anyway. <laughs> Go for it. Go ahead and target this thing and activate the item if it's in your inventory. Not... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, I guess I could actually activate it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll activate it. Just give me a range attack roll here. Um, Clayton. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Jam will do the effect. Sorry, it's, it's. I'm not as familiar with this. Ranged, there we go. There it is. 13. Let me do the effect here. I have a better effect. <laughs> I will subtract my alchemist fire. Ha! As Amazing! Into the tree. It does take range increment penalties, however, still hits his touch AC. He is on fire. Give me 1d6. Slash R 1d6. Yeah. <laughs> Three damage. Come on, the cause the cake. He's also on fire. Don't loot the pearl. I hate it. Come, though. 
quivering mass of ooze known as Kumbo approaches the spider. Twenty feet high. A single elongated tentacle emerges from his corpulent body and tenses in readiness. What does that mean? What? Speak English here. You ready in an act? Yeah, dog. Come on, the case. The Robo. Oh shit! What even just happened? <laughs> what do you mean? What happened? Uh, is there anywhere that could be considered cover? Like if, yeah, I, as a if log? I go behind this log, yeah, that cover. Yeah, that can be cover. Uh, moving over here, I draw my weapon as part of the move. But then with my standard, I shout at everyone. Let's see, who's for this? Do you have one bat? No, I don't. Fuck. You can't draw as part of the move. Well, shit. I still take cover over here. Fuck it. Worth it. Uh, so I move into cover, and then I think that puts everyone within the ring. Mm -hmm. Shout to everyone. I believe in all of you! Show it! Show it, the might of goblins! Kill everything! Everybody gets plus one damage on weapon rolls for one round. Yee! Ow. Hey, giant fighter. Is that confidence? We accidentally do something bullshit? What? Confidence and Raging Song. It, yours, they stack. Raging Song, yeah, they stack. The Raging Song gives the strength. And con. He's not doing that, though. He's doing leap from the back. Oh. Which is just a plus one untyped on all weapon damage rolls. We stay in our target here. Does this hit your touch AC, Lizzy? Uh, my touch AC? No, God, no. You are not web. It's the webs land on the floor next to you. That's a good effect. Oh, okay. Get it! Get it! Oh, wait, it's not on me! It only goes there. And the spider! He's going to jump off of the tree as far as possible to get the glizzy. And that's his turn. Ta, it's your turn. My ready to action triggers. Yeah, you're ready to action trigger. I'm aware that things are happening. You miss. <laughs> Foss attacks the spider, elongating her tongue and whipping it in the face. Go for it. Gross. Hit the AC. Take five damage. No. Attempts to grab it, wrapping the tongue around its leg. I think it's too large because that's to be your size, right? Uh, I can grapple. I think I can grapple large or small. Uh, so you get two sides. Take a penalty. I don't think I do. Unless you have a thing. Maybe you have a thing. Go for it. I just have to beat its CMD, which I won't. Well, now you can do it. No, I'm confident you'll do it. Yeah, you don't do it. Almost. <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> Larry, you hit. You feel the whoosh of air from above you land behind you, and you feel the heat of fire still above you. I turn on it. Go for it. It's now in melee range, which means I know it exists now. Yes. I swing on it. <laughs> you miss him. As he nimbly lifts one of his many legs, exactly eight to dodge. Lizzie. 
Am Did I, I get it? Yeah. Ah, got it. Get it again. Am I stuck in this web? No, you're not. You dodged. It's just the web on the ground, not on you. So can I not shift? You can shift. It's still fine. Yeah, I shift. Go for it. And I point my malconition and shoot this man with a nut. Well, you're still on his attack range, so he'll make an AOL. I'll oh, fuck this guy. Go for it. Oh, I forgot to target him too. This Holy totally shit, it works! Does anyone hit you? Yeah. You take three damage. But he also takes 3 damage for 14 hits. OW! I told you it worked! I'm a genius! And it begins... Its le long legs go limp. Crumbling. <laughs> I let out a victory screech. We all let out a victory screech on this day. Is it my turn again yet? Yeah, it's your turn again. I swing. <laughs> <laughs> you land purchase onto something carapacy. I fucking did it! You killed it! You killed that! Kill all things! Kill all things! Yeah! Kill everything! Say that as the fire begins slowly spreading from the tree to tree <gasps> and down to the ground. Oh, <laughs> Yes! 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 You have started. This is where it begins! It's this getting is a little the fucking beginning. warm in here. At the end! Fire. You guys, is it? Is it a little oh. hot? Yeah. Try back Where? away a little bit. Where you should, you should move. No, the other way. Up, up the other way. <laughs> And the fire consumes many legs. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a burning piece of the spider and begin spreading this fire with us. Okay. Oh, yeah. not, not forever, but like I want to make sure that this and, doesn't go out. Got it. Until you keep spreading the fire around the brine stump marsh until there's no more legs for fire to hold on. <laughs> oh yeah, then I let go. Oh. Assuming that. You guys have yourself a bunch of potions, some candy, and you killed a legendary creature. Hey, you say you guys, but really, it's one person. Hey, Our candy. What are you talking about? Our candy. Our candy. Our candy. I, I gave away. I gave away all but one, by the way. The candy. The potions. Oh, I don't care about potions. Give yeah. me candy. <laughs> what? The candy. It's the important part. Wonder if this town has babies. <laughs> oh, but as we leave, you know, Glizzy, technically you did four damage. It's true. I forgot. You'll see. <laughs> Just glad I had the elder's item. Light that fucker on fire! Ah, shit, dude. Oh, okay. I thought you said it was a pit, Larry! As you guys arrive, you find a fenced-in area. It's a gob-sized fence. It's taller than you guys. Mm. I haven't a... arrived yet. <laughs> you haven't arrived yet? I am... I am still... Oh, I got you. Yeah, you're in the brine stump marsh. Let me pull you over to the map. I'm staring at a gray screen. Can I eat it? You should reload. Okay. Cool. Alright, so, as you guys arrive, you find a landlocked boat that has drifted in into the high tide of the saltwater marsh, stuck in between three large trees. This is where the map ends. The map reads. Let's give a minute for Clayton, because I gotta go to the bathroom. Sure. I don't like the looks of it. Look at it, Larry. Larry, look at it. 
What? It. Tall the pit. The pit is a bounce like ground. It's like one of those inverse pits. Yeah. You mean like a, a tip? Yeah. Yes. Just the tip. Just the tip. Just for a second. Just to see how it feels. Shit, the weather changed! At least it's mostly clear today. It's pretty cool. I guess I'll also step away. Okay. No, I'm fucking doing it. You can't stop me. Get a stream. Uh, I said you... words you can't say. Oh, Everyone put one in chat if you're here. Clayton is logged into the game. Yeah. That's a one. I'm here. That's a one. I'm mobile though, so I am just gonna go grab a drink. Sure. We're missing Combo and Larry. I'm gonna go to the bathroom too. But we're waiting on them, I guess. Why don't we just go when I say to go? Cause fuck you, that's why. You don't yeah. own me. <laughs> yeah, now I'm gonna go. Alright, I guess we're taking five. Wow, dude. Congrats. Yeah, I'm back. You're here at a boat. A three story boat. That's not a boat! It's an inverse pit! Shut the foot. <laughs> you see a boat here, three stories tall, and with a chimney rising off the top the top box area. That Why connects... is there a chimney on the boat? Don't ask why there's a chimney on the boat, but it connects Sorry. to the rest of the bass. I love getting water. I'm back. Welcome back. Where'd you get water at? He goes in a marsh. Saltwater marsh. Saltwater everywhere. Drink saltwater! Do you drink saltwater? This structure looks dangerous. Time to cast toad armor. Toad armor? Toad armor? You can go ahead and cast. Yes. Why do I have all five with the taffy? Time to what did you say? So why do I have the taffy? You have the taffy, bro. Since when? I don't know. I'll let you guys loot it. I didn't loot it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm confused. I didn't put it on you. I'll trade you the taffies for these bull slugs. Ah. Okay. Ah, the taffy you you targeted yourself for the effect. Ah, oh, but I forgot. Feels bad. No elegance. Why are you Confirm. sending me the, the slug, bro? <laughs> Send it in to me. <laughs> I, I just know. get a notification. Glizzy rejected my trade request? What? Uh, I didn't reject you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, it's because you're all owners of each other's character sheet. So we can have vision. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I see. laughs> 
great to have business with you. That's a sucker. <laughs> Pumbo's here. I'm just waiting on Larry. <laughs> you, enjoy... <laughs> you enjoy the subtle screams of a bull slug? Feels so slippery. You don't. I do. Don't tell me how to feel, bro. It's placebo, placebo effect. Placebo. That's right. I'm ready to sneak in here, I'm slippery! I pull out my weapon. I'd also like to take this time to reload my gun and uh, switch it to a scatter weapon. Cause fuck <clears> you. Sure. You still believe that? Is Larry right here? <clears throat> Unless you guys need his blind wisdom, we can proceed. Yeah, whatever. Say we set it on fire. Thank you, Mogog. But that That's what I needed. But that would explode the fireworks. True. And your job is to get the fireworks and come back. I mean, do we really care about the fireworks? I just want to set them off. The mother demands fireworks. Who? Oh. The, the mother. The, the French one? What? No, Lamastu. Oh, Lamastu? I think Lamastu would want us to burn this place to the ground and set it off ourselves. No, Lamastu loves fireworks. You don't know anything about Lamastu! Yes, I do. I'm the smartest. I'm the smartest! I thought we were getting these for Chief Ratcut. You are both stupid. Shut up. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. You should. <laughs> I, I turned to the wrong goblin. You should. <laughs> Exactly! <laughs> As you enter Mogug, you are in a muddy front yard area. In front of you is a gangplank that is overgrown with vines that leads up to the bow of the boat. There's a giant muddy ball at the very top of the gangplank. It seems as though this is a necessary, you know, this is a way into this place. All right. My hands are not free, so I turn to Kumbo. Kumbo, <laughs> you push me. I go up with feet, yeah? Purple once for yes. That was three. <laughs> are they? Yeah, that was once. I am deeply uncertain as well now. It's but okay. I turn around. And I plant my feet, and I wait for, for Kumbo to push me. I'm the smartest, he said yes! I push him. <laughs> Alright. If you push him forward, I need, need the pushers to give me a climb check, and so does Mogog give me a climb check. I'm a great climber. Please hold. I'm wearing breastplate. Yeah. And I don't have the use of my hands, so I don't know what I should have put for a modifier there. It's like, I know it is, it's like minus five to eight. Yeah, but... alright, so it's... Actually, this could be important. <laughs> I could climb a light leaning ladder with no hands. Easily. Yeah, it modifies the DC. <laughs> I'm on the case. So, who's pushing uh, Chmogog? Combo for 14. Glizzy with a 13. Sauce, are you pushing Chmogog? No, I'm just climbing myself. Alright. Chmogog, you do not. <laughs> you, unfortunately, no matter what, you cannot get up that gangway. I damn it! Go halfway up, and then you just fall down. <laughs> you fell. <laughs> Sauce, on the other hand, you are with your hands, it's actually quite easy. <laughs> and you just huh? go up. Go ahead and move yourself up. Why don't you have hands? I'll carry. I'm gonna. I'll wrap my tongue around. Okay. And this full plate. 
<laughs> and hoist. What I I do actually want to know what is the lifting limit? What is the what is the carrying capacity of an unburdened Pause. sauce tongue? Seven, 75 pounds. I weigh thirty five pounds. I Impressive. think my gear weighs more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you weigh no. one hundred twelve pounds only total. Yeah, well, right. with your carrying weight. <laughs> Kumbo forms a tentacle and lifts Mogog above his head with his 300 pounds above overhead carrying capacity. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why are you so heavy, Clayton? What the fuck? I am, car I, am, I am burdened in steel. I have repurposed pieces of metal all over my entire body. Right. They're, like the only things that are visible are my ears and my nose and my beady little eyes. He is heavy with destiny. When sure. you, <laughs> when you okay. guys, re, when you manage to get up there, Sauce, I yes. need you to do literally absolutely nothing because it has nothing to do with you. Why would you care? Because as you walk up, the weight of the gangplank shifts. As you step off, and the money ball begins to plummet down the gang, rolling down the gangplank and smashing at the bottom. Fortunately for everyone, it's not actually a money ball, and it was actually a wasp nest. <laughs> so, everyone at the bottom, I need you guys to give me a reflex save. No. Fortitude or reflex? Wait. Yeah, I can do this. Reflex comes first. Fortitude oh. is after you yeah, get yeah. stung. Reflex. Gotcha, gotcha. Jeez. Jeez. Literally, I've only rolled deck skills so far. It's great. <laughs> How dare you. DC 15 reflex, everybody. Dang it. Oh, okay. No. Don't worry about it, Burbo. You're out of range. Nice. Yeah, it's lead from the back. All right. I need Mogog and Combo to give me fortitude saves. Oh, it's a 15 foot spread. Yeah, you're in the two, Burbo. Get get in there. Oh, he already and... failed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I need a fortitude save from you, Burbo. I thought you said I'm fine. Yeah, I lied. <gasps> Five you think people would do that? Bro. Somebody would do that? Same thing with you, Larry. You're not high enough to avoid it. Ow. The fort is DC 13. Oh god, you're all dead. Larry, give me a reflex and a fortitude. What? Reflex and a fortitude. <laughs> I feel like that should work out of character as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fortitude? Alright, both Burbo <laughs> and Larry take one dex damage. Fuck that, dude. Dex damage. Oh. Ah, come on. And it'll on. persist for four rounds. As you guys hear something in the distance. As the clopping of hooves. Oh come, no! <laughs> that come, is the sound of death. Come <laughs> rushing around the corner. Everyone, it's initiative time. Whoa! Hey, horses! Trap rolls for initiative. Oh no! <laughs> hey, don't worry about the trap. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about well, it. I'd like to check for traps, please. He already triggered it. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Sauce, this is your turn. Sounds a banger, by the way. Where did the sound of the horse come from? I point with finger here! On the rear end of the house. 
I mean, the not I remember both. this boss fight, bro. Like Taking the back a of my moment hand. to laugh at my comrades being stung by bees. Just run around. Up this way. You continue. <laughs> right. Now that we're dealing with verticality in this map, if you guys select your token, you see your token's vision. If you deselect your token, you see everyone's vision. Okay? Just so you guys know. Because there's verticality. If you see a ladder in front of you, you may double click the ladder and you'll be prompted to climb it. Does this ladder go up or down? Up. It goes up to above you as there's an overhang above you. Is that all you move? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh. I'll stop here and ready an action to cast a spell on any enemy that goes 15 feet away. Up to oh, minimum. Minimum range. Yeah. Anything in range, I'm gonna cast my spell. The Robo. So, horse sound that like it's over here somewhere? Behind the house. Behind the house. Oh. I don't see anything. Oh, you see something. You see it directly right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a bunch of leaves of this tree in the way, as it's a massive tree, but it's right here. Hmm. Can I nope. climb still up the ladder even though everybody's on it? Do you have to wait for everyone to go, or it'll be really difficult? Or would it be easier because I just climb their bodies? Nope, it'll be more difficult, because it's very easy on its own. <laughs> well, very... only one thing to do. Take cover. I believe in all of you! Everybody gets that plus one. I, I believe in all of you. Tumbo. Larry's in the way. Am I still sickened? Yes, you're still sick. Until tomorrow night. Until the night time. Oh, yeah, and make a uh, fortitude save the robo. No! Wait, I did, though. Do oh, it again. Oh, oh, God, no! Hey, I did it. Yep, you're good. You are... Cured of the poison. I just put one in the damage column for attributes, yep. right? Yep, just one. Oh, okay. Right. Tumbo, you move. Tumbo slithers forward and readies a tentacle. Larry, if you want to finish climbing up, you need to give me another climb. How dare you? Yeah. How dare I? <laughs> Go ahead and walk up there. Yes, I am going to. Can I actually see the horse? You did double move, and yes, now you can see the horses over here. It's did I? Is it a whole move to go up, like, whatever, ten feet on the ladder? Uh, you went into the yellows. You were... here. It's 45. Oh, is it? So, take me back five feet. There you go. There we go. Can I see the horse? Yes. Can I see its actual positioning so I can... Yes. You can cannot see its shit, actual brother. positioning, but it's right here. <laughs> This token's on the map, it's just behind the leaves. Is it a single horse? It is a single horse. It does have concealment against you. You round a corner for dog. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Stop. You stop there? I mean, running. I have to. Oh, he, you can still continue and take an AOL. I mean, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. All right. That's all I can do, yeah. Yep. I'm a... We are going to... Lose the Lizzie. Discord. What? Lost Jam. Lost Jam in Discord. He'll be back. He'll be back. Oh. Lizzie. Like to climb? You gotta climb the normal path. <laughs> I have a climb speed, sir. 
Okay. Um, so you're going to climb and you not climb speed. Oh, I actually just have a climb speed of 10 feet. Why do you have a climb speed? Because I'm slow. <laughs> if you go up, I you have 20 foot move speed. <laughs> you're on the floor of the boat. And I go there. Imagine moving at half speed when God gave you 40. <laughs> they gave you 30, homie. You have 30, not 40. What? Yep. Yeah. No one has 40. The goblin fast speed makes up for the fact that we're small. So we move normally. Yeah. Oh. So I gave that up for climb speed. Get your ready action. This horse bolts from around. Oh my god, it's huge! Get your ready He's action. In oh, wings. Yep. That's fucking disgusting! Hold on, cast the spell first. Adhesive spittle. <laughs> gonna make a reflex save first. It passes. It doesn't oh, no. care what you have to say. And then the attack. 16 to hit the horse chain. It hits. And take 8 damage. Wait, I did it to you. I mean, healing you, right? It should be 9 damage with lead from the back. With lead from the back is 9 damage. Whoa. A double move. Mogog, it is a horse. A fearsome horse attacking combo. I am... I am terrified to my very soul. I run. What are you doing? <laughs> Death to all! <laughs> Come that back! Was move. That was a double move, alright. Burn it all down! That might have been too much. Yeah, I need to move back. I made it there. Sus, it is your turn. Dogs. Alright. Mogog. Yeah. You can look up, Mogog, and see there are more dogs on the floor above. So Mogog. confused! Don't worry, click your allies if you want to change your vision to them. Yeah. Die, furry fiend! Did you go through this square? Uh, actually, it depends. I'm either here or here. Can I move here diagonally, or, or do I have to go to the square first? You have to go to that square first, but let me add the dogs to the mission, because new round, new dog, and they go first, so you're not even there. Put myself there. I'll see you in the afterlife, boys. Hey, yo, this dog Adios. comes up and bites you. The 17 hit. Wait. Wait. Yes. And then this dog comes up. Give me a bite as well. No! Alright, it's someone like jamming the Just take two damage. I got it. Thank you. These dogs, as they run up to you, are chained to the mast in front of you. And sauce, now it's your turn. You see, you see from your vision over there that Larry is being attacked by what you could only assume as dogs. Fellow furry creatures. Can I, so can I attack this one? Yes, the one that you can see. Oh, no, you can't. Because oh, if can't you click a token, one. yeah. Token has appropriate vision. There's I a delay. Hard turn. How, where do you delay to? Uh, after... I forget. Oh, after Larry. Larry. Got it. Take it to after Larry, the robo. I came back to some scary stuff, man. Yeah, there are dogs up there. But in, over here, I have your vision. It's kind of chill. The, f uh, the, the fierce, brave Mogog has taken the, the, hor the horse vein sword and ran. <laughs> That's helping. Uh, is it is it still just a move action to climb up, or is it a standard? Yeah, it's just all move together. It, it doesn't even reduce speed. It's just difficult. 
a time check. It isn't even that close. difficult. It's like, it's DC 10. <laughs> it's just Mosin insulting you when you fail. No, no. No, oh. no, no. <laughs> you climbed it, you're up. Well, having had a wand out, it's time! I target the horse. Yeah. Love, love, beam! Just fucking eat horse. As oh, he, never mind! As a heart flies through his wand. Does hit that him. hit his touch AC? That misses his touch AC as a heart comes sliming through his legs, but he nimbly leaps. It. <laughs> it's just a flat d20 plus your size bonus. You did yeah. not add your deck, did you? Huh? Isn't it? Like, oh no, I didn't. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Oh. Uh, I'm injured, so plus two, so eleven. So eleven. So no pluses. So it's just the attack. Got it. Wait, how's your dex 11? No, oh, no, 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 sorry, I meant oh, my total. Yeah, yeah, the roll was 11, yeah, yeah, yeah. the total. So plus 2, 11, that was it. Nice. He will take the damage, he'll make of the fortitude. He has passed the fortitude. But he's How taken the you? damage. Combo. Combo smash. You oh. fucked it up. <laughs> you messed it up. Do it for your character. You fucked it, Combo. Combo does seven damage, but misses the second one. It's looking injured, this horse. Larry! Back up top. Larry, you're fighting dogs. What is with these dogs in the center here? Uh, so, click your token, you can't see them. That's the do That's the second floor dogs. That Mogog can see from I can't see any of these things. Okay, so. Yeah. I'm gonna shift back and cast uh, Sleep. Go for it. Take a target and do it. I know, say you leave, but make a target. He has failed. The dog next to him has succeeded. What a bitch. This is completely accurate as you see. Sock! It's your turn. That dog cannot AO you from that angle. Oh, it's fine. To assault this dog with my tongue. Got it. Is that what those things are? They're half filthy fiendish hounds. You have missed the dog with your tongue. Glizzy. Wait, is the horse dead? Wait. Wait, is it dead? Oh, yeah, it says it's, it's dead. dead. The horse is dead because of the, like, the wand. Okay, or because of gumbo. Combo. Oh, it was because kind of the combo. It yeah. It was the combo combo. I shot wow. a heart at it, and then combo. However, combo. there's still combat happening above the deck that you can hear, Dizzy. <clears throat> Seems like You're a What the fuck is that horse rolling for? Don't worry what the horse is <laughs> rolling for. Don't worry I'm about the so, horse. So that's so confusing. Don't worry why the horse just rolling. dies and rolls a d hundred. Okay. Oh God, it's rolling for stomp. Okay, I can't see anything, but I smell dogs and it's pissing me off. I double move. That's it. Horse is dead, man. You should go around to the other side, dude. It's no. like... Mogo. A fucking short hallway. I will run through you all! Get the fuck out of my way! You want uh, some of this, big boy? 
I start doing the like fisticuffs motion in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do a pussy. Why Throw a ten... swing and hit a wooden board. Are you ten <laughs> feet? Harm my own hand. The reason why you could see the dogs up there is because you were ten feet high on your token. Yeah, I was. I was up uh, on the hill. Oh, I ran okay. up the hill. Perfect. Cause this is down in a hollow, right? That's the ship in a in a emptied sea. Yeah. So yeah, I I have turned around, I've steeled myself, and I've run back to the ladder. You see a horse that's dead. I I pause for only a moment. Well then. <laughs> it is the top of the hour. Dog pan's turn. Who are those guys? On the map now. One dog is asleep. The other dog bites. Punch. Oh. Saw, does that hit you? 17 does not hit because of my toad armor. You hear dogs above you barking, trying to get down, but a chain snaps, allowing them to not leave the downstairs. The robo. The robo. Ah, the robo. Ooh, the robo. The robo. The robo. Can I see anything from here? Nope. Click your token, and you can see. Yep. No, oh, no. I, I was moving to see. You see a dog. Well, too bad. Sounds a double move. <laughs> And I guess I'll just move there and turn. Hello! What is all this racket outside? Oh! Seems as though my meal has come to me this time around. As a witch like goblin comes out of her hole. I recognize that voice. Yeah, do you? Yes, you do recognize that voice. This is a legendary figure who resides within the brine stump. It is the human known as Borkon. He, he is a friend to all goblins and hater of all dogs. He, many goblins, seek out Borkon for advice, wisdom, and help. Borkon, why do you have all these dogs around? I thought you hated dog. What? What? My name is Vorkan. What? 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 I can't see you around that corner. Just come out. Are we off initiative? No. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm coming. You are a heretic. You don't know that. Dog lover. So what? They make good servants. Combo. What kind of a pit is this, by the way? This is not a pit! This is a boat! Standard action, lift Mogog. <laughs> you have lifted Mogog? <laughs> oh, thank god, I was looking at my fucking character sheet going like, I'm sure it'll happen, right? I'm sure I'll be able to get up. You, you climbed the shit out of that. You are now up. Is that all? Yeah. Okay. A resident Dalek. <laughs> Larry, it is your turn. You hear the sound of a goblin. Larry Chan. Oh, me? Yes. Again? So quickly? 
Yes. Everyone else killed the horse and walked up a ladder. I mean, yeah, you weren't talking uh, on your turn. What? What? Just go. <laughs> Just go. I'm trying to trying to figure out what I should do. Okay. I think it will delay Hell? until after this dog dies. The one around the corner. That's gonna be a whole nother turn. Oh my oh. god. Until after it dies is not the specification. Okay. <laughs> then um until I will after this sauce. Dog. Yeah. After sauce. God. Right. Sauce. I will full attack the dog. Go for it. Starting with my tongue. No oh, you hit. Don't tongue the dog. A dog's being tongue. Amazing. You have grappled the dog with your tongue. Grab the dog. Gross. And then yank, just like, whip it into my mouth for the chomp. He's on a chain! <laughs> it is grab. But the AC might hit. Taking penalty. Still miss. Okay, this dog is entangled in my tongue. The moment you do that, she looks and goes, No! Let go of my children! I just see you shoving a black censored bar into the dog. <laughs> it's my tongue. That's her tongue. Larry. Sauce is grappling a dog. And you can see, Sauce, the more dogs above this ladder. It's your turn, Larry. Larry? Oh, uh, yes. Are you moved there? Yes. You can see more dogs above. Yes, I can. I'm going to do the same thing again. Go for it. Sorry, spell casting takes me a second. You gotta no go problem. through these menus and cash it. Yeah. You can cast it up. Um, do what? Are you casting up? Hit the dogs up? above? Yeah, I mean, it's an area. Yeah. They're higher than you. Oh, um, does They're it go 10 feet floor. up? Yeah, it goes 10 feet up. It'll hit. No worries. If you cast it the center up, it'll work. I get what you want. Yeah, yeah, whatever angle is necessary to capture all of this. The poor dog on the ladder has fallen asleep. <laughs> Stupid animal! Hold this. Glizzy, it's now your turn. Uh, so you can take 10 feet, and 5, and 10 more. Sure. Hello, Sifa! Bunch of dogs! Silence! You will be dinner tonight there, Garland! I'm going to burn the ground! What? What? Fuck you! Discussion or an argument or fire. One of the many things on the other side. Yee. 
I run. Wow. You see a bunch of dogs now. I am brandishing the dog slicer above my head, screaming the whole way. Mm. The dog's turn. And by dog, I mean the dog. Because one of them moved up here. Get that angle, but can't leave. This dog is gonna try and break the grapple. There's the C standard classic CMB check. It has escaped. What action is that? Move or standard? Standard. Alright. They have escaped. Fuck that dog. Good shit. Now cut your ass off. I'm gonna cut your ass off. And in that to attack the lady. The robo. All the other how long does sleep last? Minutes per level. Alright, these dogs are just still gonna sleep until he, someone hits them. Oh, see you God, in like. I'm sorry. Dogs see you in eight more rounds, dogs. Dogs are wet. I was under pressure. Is she actually burning or does she just take fire damage? She's burning. Take fire damage. She's not on fire, if you guys figure that thing. Yes. Did she fail her reflex? Oh, that's not what that's for. Yeah, no. Half. It's for half. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to do the brave thing in one. Lab lab beam! Thrust at her. You messed up the button pressing! No, I held down control! Cause I held down control! How could you mess that up? Oh, God! <laughs> You missed. How could you mess that up? Ew! Oh no! Nigga in the way. She is gonna climb at full speed up till she's at the top of the of the max here. She has a natural climb speed, but. Takes 30 to get up there, so she still has her standard. She is going to begin casting a spell up here. What spell? You don't know. Who's casting? This fucking witch bitch? Yes, she has climbed. Why? She has climbed. Summon monster. Summon nature's L is what she's casting. Oh shit. She is 30 feet up. You are 10 feet up. So she's, there's a 20 foot difference between you and her. She's summoning more dogs! Coming out from her hut, a giant toad. And finally, the first thing it sees and uses a tongue attack. Whoa! Does 10 hit your AC? No. You are not hugged. Not today. This is an epic duel! Tongue me tongue it out! <laughs> Combo! There's something happening. I think they call it thing. Frenching. Are there any uh, portholes, windows on this interior? No, but there's a bunch of cracks. It is a very old and rusty. Not rusty, but you know, it's an old and decrepit boat. You, you can are these fit cracks through. wide enough to compress through? Yes, 100% there is. It's... How tall are you? Uh, just medium height, or like five feet. You're gonna need the escape artist check still, then, to compress it. Still counts as a squeeze. I like my odds with this second debuff. I'll just go around. If only you were. <laughs> if only you were small, it'd be okay. Oh, oh, well, you phase through. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Phase through the robo, and you appear here at this scene. Does Kumbo do that thing where he like splits into two pieces to go around someone, and then reforms? 
Oh, it's combo, do you have that ability? Oh, yeah, it's combo. You have that ability. Hold it. Sock. Your turn. I'll move here by the hay stack. And try to bite the uh, full attack, biting the dog first. This dog is not grabbing, but nonetheless, die, die, dies. Takes damage and dies. Dog blood in my mouth. I turn to the large toad and tongue attack it. Go for it. Damn it. it. Larry. The shit going on. The toad and I just cross sure tongues. Is. Like a sword fight with tongues. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No problem. My name. My name is Larry. My face real scary. I don't look good, but I sing like a canary. So draw your blades and raise your flagons. Scream out loud that we be goblins. And I'll cast song. Cool. You're raging and songing. Everyone is buffing. Everyone enjoy your buff. Ow. What does it do? Yeah, I have no idea what it is. Plus two con. strength, plus... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, plus two strength, plus two con, and minus two AC. Minus one. Minus one AC. It's also plus two will saves. If you choose to accept it. <laughs> but it also ruins your spellcasting and whatnot. Galbina one, aka Glizzy. You just threatened me? Where the you gonna shoot him? I forgot to target again. There you go. That was 11 hitter touch. What's the range increment of your gun? That's a god. Actually, hold on. No way. I actually missed fire. You missed fire? Yeah. It's a four. Yeah. <laughs> you missed fire on bro, a four? Okay. <laughs> Every okay. time I shoot, my missed fire chance increases by one. <laughs> <laughs> this hard time's dog shit, homie. Alright. God damn it! And then I'll take a fucking, uh. Oh, never mind. It's the same reaction. I you will reload it. my gun with a move action. And then end my turn. Mogog. <laughs> There's a sleeping dog in front of you, and a lady up the mast. Well, I mean, I don't care that it's asleep. I'm gonna hit it. Go for it. I get so many bonuses. Four points for it being a dog. <laughs> it's prone. I mean, it's prone, that's it true. It is prone, yeah. Is Do I add that, or is that it's just it's AC? I got it. It so should have the debuff like. prone on it, but most of them sleepy. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to do the things. And then I get plus three damage for all of my traits, because it's a dog. I fucking hate dogs. It's not a horse, though. That'd be nice. <laughs> Gorge of Bloodens on the dog. 21, 7 damage. You hit this dog and decimate him. He is dead. All right. Amazing. Yeah, affected you away. I got it. I'll oh, you got it. Well then. After that the dogs go. There's literally only one dog above here. Whoops. Above you guys that you can't see. And it's tied to a chain, so it can't jump down. The Robo, it is your turn. 
take two. Take two. Dramatic goblin entry. <laughs> Dramatic goblin entry. More dancing, spinning, gyration. Moon prism power! In the name of the moon, I punish you! I need to target her first. Go ahead and target her. Does that hit her touch? Let's see. Did they hit her touch? No, it did not hit her touch. God damn it. Really so low. Giant frog. Gambler's fallacy, bro. Gambler's fallacy. We're going to run to the cash, bro. <laughs> We're going to use our melee tongue attack once again, but fail to grab. We're going to shift back. In what a little bitch. Into the house. His tongue is inferior. Don't worry. Volka's turn and her summon finishes. Summon roll me a 1d3. I got it. Hell yeah, bro. Sauce so got it. There you go. Two dogs are summoned. Oh, they should be adjacent. <clears throat> They're adjacent 30 feet in the air? Are they 30 feet? I thought she's 30 feet on the map. No, she has to, She summoned them down. <laughs> she doesn't summon oh them 30 God. feet in front of her falling. That would be sick. That would be kind of cool. Just pouncing. She didn't Right. And now I mean, she is going to use her standard to cast. Produce flame. Oh! And she a glob of fire now hovers around her. That's pretty cool. Well then. How the turntables. Combo. It's your turn. <laughs> Water splashing. Oh. Oh. You crit the dog, I'm assuming. I like your little icon you got there. <laughs> <laughs> you, this kills the dog. Assume that's it, sauce. I'm gonna just... Shut this door. You have shut the door. Did you lick a doorknob just now? Yes. Gross. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. <laughs> you no. shut the door. I will attack this dog. Nope. Seventeen hits. Dog takes five damage, but it's still up. But it's grabbed as well. Whoa! That's my turn. Oh, Larry. Swing! Nineteen. Nineteen. You hit the dog, and just kills the dog. Hopefully I do do not hit your tongue with my katana. Oh, that hurt. You hit the tongue with the katana. <laughs> Glaze on mine. Feels good. Oh, fuck this piece of fucking shit thing! I look on the ground haphazardly first bare parts and throw them on my gun in a mishmash 
and I fix my gun and increase the range increment. Fix your gun. And then I'll take a move action and hang off this ledge if you let me. Hang off this ledge? Give me yeah. a climb check. I have a climb speed. Oh, then you can. I don't even need the ledge. You can just do that. Oh, I gotta move my token. What's more what I was asking? <laughs> 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 Fucking walls. Oh god! There's a frog Where? inside a house and a lady 20 feet up above you. No more dogs? Oh, well, there's dogs above you. Cut down the that pole! Uh, that doesn't seem to be a likely course of action. I'm gonna continue looking for better people to attack. You move over there? We're on move action to reopen the door that she closed? Sure. Big toad in there. <laughs> Alright. I wanna kill a big toad. <laughs> yeah, let's let's kick this door open. Ah, that's a big toad. <laughs> there you go. Put you at the right hand. Big toad in front of you. All right. Dogs, they're up there and can't come down. The rubble. I'll get to them later. Uh, let's see how this goes. Can't tang around up there forever! Yes, I can! You sure about that, bitch? Hmm. It's kind of positive about that. Do you grease I up there? Grease, I grease up the mast where she's hanging on. No. I was going to climb that, but perhaps not anymore. Huh? Not a mind reader. <laughs> the whole mast is greased and slippery. Flubed up over here too, bro. It's grease flammable. No, I just, I just dropped that one. Grease is this flammable. It is. Do they get a reflex? It's flammable. Reflex. It is. I don't know if this counts as wielded or employed by a creature. It'd just be a reflex or a go prone. Yeah, it's a reflex or go prone. She, she's on the little crow's nest up there where she can go prone and fall ah. down if she fails. I thought she was like yeah. like climbing, hanging off the pole. No, she's at the very top. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, essentially, I was hoping it's a she slips and falls down situation. On their, on their turn, the first thing I'll do is make sure the reflex her. You want to move? Or is that it? I guess I should move, huh? Do you want to try climbing up the grease pole? Nope. Come on, man. It's like a game. That's it. I take cover behind the corner. Giant frog moves back. We're going to tongue mode. I'm going to assume that that's 25 kicks. Or at least yeah. I'll get confirmed on, bro. This. How's 18 Uh, for CMD. Uh, yeah, I think my CMD is 11. Pulls you in. Actually, I forgot there has to be a, a grab attempt here. Let me grab you first. Does 10 grab me? No. No, then you're not even pulled. You're good where you are. Morka will reflex. See if she falls down. What's the DC? It's DC I, 10. I DC 10? I mean, no. the, the, the 10 is necrobatics. I'm assuming it's, it's spell casting, right? Yes, it's pure. A cool 12. Or 13, right? Caster level plus. Oh, she moved. Don't move. She moved. To the other end of the map, where you can no longer see her. From that Get angle. up that ladder! Tumbo. What? Tumbo. You enter inside the building.
you <laughs> hit the giant frog. And it takes three damage. Sucks. I'm gonna pull out my potion of, of uh, full strength and pour it inside of Kumbo's blobby mass. <laughs> Alright, go for it. Uh, let me open up the inventory for you. Target combo and just use it. Oh. Are we still raging? Yeah. Well, that's, that's one more damage to the frog. One more damage to the frog, got it. You're only raging if you want to be raging. Did that add it? Did I auto do it for you? No. That's it. Just add, add it. Yeah. Oh. oh, is that the rest of your turn? Uh. Dark. I won't get. In the, I won't get in your way. If I if I stand here on the ladder, am I in the way? On the way for what? If I stand at the in bottom the of the ladder, am I in the way of, you, of the rest of the to climb? Yeah, it? but that doesn't matter. It's not like a steep uh, punch mount. It's like how you can face to each other square if you allow it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to begin climbing up there. Larry. How many tall is the ladder? The ladder goes. It takes you to the next floor up, which is another 10 feet. Then you'll be 20 versus 30 instead of... 10 verse 30. So this doge here, he stand at top of ladder and just bark? He's, yeah, he's standing at the very top of the ladder. And he just barks? Yes, they're chained. They cannot move down there. They physically cannot jump off this balcony in to get you. They're waiting to get you, though. If you so would allow it. Um... I will delay until after sauce. Until oh, no, that's, sauce. that's the you turn, are, yeah, huh? You are after sauce. Uh, after... I think I got two more people. Because <laughs> you're almost uh, over at the bottom. Uh, hmm. Just go fight Frog. I hate Frog. I can't get it in there because positioning's so bad. I mean... You could still move through them and then do turn. Here. Take an AOO for there. doing that, bro. Unless the, it, it, the grapple didn't happen, right? There's no grappling happening no between Toad and anyone? Nope. Yeah, yeah, so I'll take an AOO for doing yeah. that. Fair. 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 Uh, so how does getting to the top of the ladder work? Would I share a space with the dog, or do I have to fight it in the ladder? You have to fight it in the ladder. Unless you have a way to go through its space. Acrobatic, bull rush, uh, Fuck that, bruh. I'm gonna demoralize the dog. Go for it. What do you say to this dog who's a moral I don't say anything, I just look at him. I, I like, I do, I do a weird thing where like, even though it's a dog and it probably has no concept of this, I, I look him dead in the eyes. <laughs> well. Somehow. They do. They do get a bonus, but you smashed the bonus out of the park. And this dog is demoralized and shaken. Do you glare daggers at him? I do. Ha! He said he said it. He's he said the thing. He said the fucking thing, I think it that. My eyes are sharp. <laughs> That's a lot of good ones. Glizzy. 
Move me back. <laughs> Move you back. Um, do I have a clear shot? No, there's Obviously a map. There's, a, nice there's shot, a mass but... and two allies. You can go for it, but it's gonna be difficult. Precise shots for bitches. What's my penalty? What was your penalty? Minus four. Plus oh, cover. Minus four. No, you take minus four, and he has cover to his AC. Oh, so it's, it's a big one. Yeah. I'm coming. Miss. That's with the minus four at least. That's with the minus four, but not with yeah. the cover. <laughs> you miss. Fuck! <laughs> no god. Yeah, uh, fuck this. If he's gonna be shooting over my head, I'm going up that ladder. <laughs> double click the ladder to. They're just rocks! I don't know how to double click the ladder. Uh, just double click. There we go. Okay. Climb ladder. Yes! You are now 20 feet up. Amazing! It's awesome it's blowing. And now you can see the whole new level. Amazing! I can! I can see it with my own eyes! And that's just the move action. Would you like to use a standard? Yeah? It has a shaking dog in front of you. Let's, oh wait, uh... you climbed the ladder. You triggered uh, the standard. A ready standard against you. Yeah, alright. She's gonna hurl like blob of fire at you. 21 hits your touch. I think it does, yes. Takes 4 damage. Jesus. Uh, 4 damage. Boom. Hey, I dog standard. Uh, I can only do one thing with the object that is in my hands. Stab. Yep. Or suck. Luckily. I get all fucking bonuses to this. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh come on. There we go. <laughs> Wait, you don't get you. I don't know. All right. I don't know at all. All right, I got you. Oh no. Oh, you're right there. I got you. There you go. There I am. Okay. 18, you hit, deal 7 damage, kill dog fan. Wait, that's what they say? Kill dog fan. Cool. So it's probably more rank. Oh wait, you already have, you're already raging? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got it on my, I've got it on my token. I don't know whether it's actually doing anything. I think so. No, it's not. What's your strength bonus normally? Oh no, there it is, Rage UC. I normally have a strength of 12. Okay. Okay, so it's counting it as its own buff in Rage UC. That's the yeah. Raging Song thing? That's what, uh, that's the, the icon that came up when I looked for Raging Song in the compendium. Okay. That's the one I have on the skill too. So I'm, I'm just leaving it there. Because uh, it also had the right modifiers. The Raging Song isn't the buff that gives strength. That's called Inspired Rage. The Raging Song is just the class feature that lets you perform songs. Uh... Dog. This dog is still sleeping. The Robo. Well, shit. Can I stand... Would it... Frog Chan still have cover if I try to shoot through Mr. Ooze? He'll just have soft cover. Because Mr. Ooze <laughs> is not small <laughs> like you. I thought it was because he was Damn it, Ooze Chan. Damn it. <laughs> well, I can't climb up and I can't go fight the dog. So, might as well try to fight too. Sure. Uh, don't worry, it's a giant toad. You might hit. You miss. It's his turn now. Giant toad does not shift back. Giant toad attack. Bites combo. 13. That hits. 
takes eight damage. Does the frog shift back afterwards? No. No? I cast roll with it. <laughs> what? What did you just say You're not to me? Casting. He rolling, bro. This man's oh. still a goblin, technically. He's <laughs> rolling with it. Funny thing. He can, he can still move. Oh, that's not where I wanted to roll. But you're oh. hitting a wall. You're there now. Alright, that was his turn. We're going with Vorka's turn now. Vorka. Oh, bro, you're staggered for one round? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Vorka is once again going to shoot another glob of fire at the person colliding here. Bogog does 9 hit your touch. Oh, sorry, muted. Yep. Take another 4 damage. Cool. That's and what I love doing. She walks all the way back to the final mass, the chimney mass. That was 9 hit your touch. Do you have a dex penalty? I am wearing plate. So. Uh. Rage. 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 Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. <laughs> Base Dumbo. size and rage. Yeah. Why is rage minus two? I thought you said it's only minus one. It is minus one. Yeah, it's ten then. All right, then never mind. My my touch is only you're, is yeah, ten. Yeah. Your buff is wrong. Four eight p then. Hooray! I love doing that. I remember you have bull strength. You combo. miss. Plus two to that. You still miss. Why don't you just add in, uh, give yourself a strength bonus. Or just that's not a thing that's possible. Sus, you are at the bottom yeah, of this is. ladder. Go to your attributes and put it in, like, damage. Oh, I also forgot about the temporary hit dice. If you, if you control, if you just search for, uh, bull strength, there's a common buff. Yeah, you can just drag. Yeah, you also get temporary hit dice from the con. Or, not hit dice, but hit points, yeah. Hit point. Yeah, it's like a chain range, unfortunately, where you just I die. I climbed the ladder. <laughs> Double click ladder. You're up. You can still have, you still have movement, and there's a sleeping dog in front of you. How much movement? Five up. I mean, ten up. You go ten. Ten movement up. Ten. Thirty to go here. Yep, and you can climb this ladder to go to where Vorka will be. Proceed up the ladder. You are up the ladder. You're now here with Vorka at the mast then. At the mast area. If you want to climb up this mast rope area, it's gonna be it's gonna just be five feet up. And okay. Is she already up there? Yeah, she's on top of the chimney. She's oh, yeah, literally yeah. just like five foot above you. I still have five feet of movement. I'm gonna climb. Cool. I can do this. I have a plus one now. Alright, lucky for you, it's not a climb trick, you're just hopping over. <laughs> Luckily, it's just you're hopping oh, okay. over. Your hair feet will end here, dog lover. <clears throat> and you will be food tonight! Dinner? Dinner? Cocked her head. Larry can. The, yes. The grist up hole. Dance, Larry! Dance! I go up. Climb, double click the ladder to climb? It's hard to do with all these people in it. And Mo Dog is kind of in the <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> Just immovable. I don't have any icon or any. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. it's real. It, it, it's a it's a neat little trick, but like, yeah, it was very confusing. It's, it's got to click the little edge of it. <laughs> Remote dog's not not blocking. And I guess I'll double move. Yeah. Is this ten feet up this ladder? Yep, every ladder is ten feet up. Yeah, the double click ladder.
What? How did he I'm make it here up here too now? How did you make it up here with knives in your eyes? Magic. Who is he? The spirits of the toad guide him. Go! Where are you going? was actually because I knew that you would be here at this exact moment in this place in this time She's doing above. this thing because yeah. I know everything. I, how high is it above us? From where you are, apparently? Yeah. She's 20 feet up. Alright, I'll climb 10 feet up. Alright, you have to go here? I'll, I'll climb that wall, yeah. Yep. Plus 10. I got, oh, now you're 30. I was on it. I even know what you'll do next. There you go. You're up. Is that it? Yeah, I double moved. The Robo. Slow. Wait, not the Robo Mogog. There is a dog in front of me. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's I kill him. Oh, well. <laughs> Fuck that dog, bro. <laughs> I guess that dog dead now. Good. Nice two day, bro. Yeet. Alright, guarantee crit. He is dead. Hooray! Does he move? Yeah, he moved. Is that <laughs> a feat? roll? Do you roll with it? It is a feat, yeah. Yeah. It's a goblin exclusive feat. That's awesome. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It's broken. Did you just roll at him and stagger yourself? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, let me use it. I think you have to roll directly away from the mummy. No, you pick the direction. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. That's why uh, I didn't pick it. I was like, oh no, we can't all just be this broken. It's the only time you ever get to use this beat, bro. It's the only time. She is going to brandish her scimitar. Let me look at a cool spell. She has no cool spell. She's going to brandish her scimitar and slice at Sars. Does 21 hit you? Ow! Oh, take 4 damage. Gumbo, you're down below and you're staggered. And. Continue our duel. I continue to hold low. <laughs> you and Frog are in this 1v1 inside her lair. Sauce, up above. The fight's happening, alternating between below and below. <laughs> above. It's over for you, heretic. You're in range of my special move. I start, like, like gagging a little bit, like. <laughs> what the? What the? What the? Fuck! Amazing. <laughs> as he, as Sauce vomits mac and cheese all over Vorka, she's going to make a fortitude save. You said no one would take that seat. <laughs> she stands stoic. Inside the vomit of mac and cheese, a long tongue licks her face clean. She seems unamused by your brutal parlor trick. How can this be? <clears throat> Fool. Mac and cheese delicious, yo. I was born in the vomit. You merely adapted it. Larry. Your turn, Larry. Seven is the damage. Seven is it? Why are you assuming it hits? Oh wait, I also get a plus one. Oh, it's an eighteen to hit. Eighteen? It misses. Oh, sorry. Wait, yours is on damage, right? Uh, Jam. Or is I'll that over? Use what? that thing, anyways. I haven't Bonus. used it. Yeah. yeah that, that was, that was that's at the for start, one right? For yeah. one round. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, it's just a uh, seven. Seven? Seventeen to hit? Seventeen. Or eighteen. 
Eight he misses. Jesus. Glizzy. Sit back from the concept of vomit. Climb <laughs> another ten feet. Oh, it doesn't go ten feet up from where you are. Oh, I'm at the top now? You're at 20 here, oh. and then there's 10 here, another 10 here. Oh, shit. All right, we're going for the long shot then. Or you, the mass goes 30 up as well. It goes another 10 up. All right, well, I will five foot step or move, whatever. It don't really matter. Sure. She will have height ground and cover from that angle. It is what it is, brother. It is what it is. I'm also minus one ranger. Don't forget your ranging from it penalties. Yes, it's minus six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good odds. You think I care? I'm a goblin, bro. Die! Oh! Fuck you guys! 19 hits her touch, she gets shot. That's not touch. I'm way too far. 19 still hits her. <laughs> hits her AC. She gets hit. See? You all just gotta believe! Just roll high! Mo Gug. Bitch. Whoa. Uh, they seem to have this fight up here covered. I'm gonna go back down the ladder. With the ladder? Yeah. Welcome down here. I'm gonna go see what the fuck's up in, in this room. Combo and a giant frog are doing battle. Cool. Is that a double? Yeah, that'll be a double. The Robo. You're here. I'm gonna hit this fucking frog if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> sure. The lovely lovely beam will hit. I said love love beam! That hits. that hits! Take that 2 damage. He did, and he'll make a 4-2 save. And he'll pass it. Yeah, pass that 4-2 save. The Flog retaliates with a melee attack, also known as his tongue. 7 misses, I will assume. Yes, yes it does. Oh, he blackbarred me. Oh. Oh, I'm animated, but not that animated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's gross. And he'll shift back. As this giant frog's getting cornered. Vorka up top. Will. Give a slice. You saw. Once again. 16 hit. No. She will use her move action to shoinks down the chimney. Would you like to get an AOO? A tongue of opportunity. A tongue of opportunity, yes. 19 oh. hits. I have you now. I get my grab. Uh, you get an attempt from the grab? 17. 17 it beats her CMD. She does not make it down the chimney. She, she hangs herself in her own chimney. <laughs> She's grappled with you. Combo, down below. Not staggered. You're not staggered. Oh yeah. <laughs> Twenty-four hits. One. Eleven damage because inspired rage is inactive. Eleven. Or is not a buff on that sheet. He's taken eleven damage. This frog sauce. I'm up top. I keep going up and down, up and down. <laughs> Time to die. My full attack. Go for it. <laughs> you, the full attacker. 17. She is grappled, so her AC is different. Ow. Her, her AC is. The T hit, though. Takes three damage. I don't think I think she's not grappled anymore. Cause I have to I have to let go to do the full attack, right? Uh, Unless yeah. you're a Hamala yeah, you loss. She's no longer grappled. I'll move. 
begins falling. Delete the thunder. Thank you. Larry. Katana in a place like this. What? What? <laughs> Glizzy. You are very knowledgeable wit. I will enjoy eating your brain to consume your memories. Ha! That works. I'm spoiled, and I'll give you brain rot if you do that. <laughs> it was nothing that time. Keep close! Cover! Stay I'll move back to reload fire. It's my turn. Moga. Come down below. <laughs> Multi level fighting. Uh, There's a pillar in the way. Ah! <laughs> One, two, there's a war. Three, four. Yeah, I can actually still attack. Yep. Amazing! I only can attack it with the one goddamn item, though. <laughs> <laughs> the super glue dagger. That I. I love the idea that it's super glued to my hands, but I hate the idea that I've like all of my attacks are completely negated by this goddamn dog slicer. Is it a is it a one-handed weapon? Yes, it's a dog slicer. Oh yeah, it's one-handed. You still have a free hand. Except I closed both my hands around it. Oh, okay. I like I said the thing and I had it in my head, and so like <laughs> the robot. I respect. We're actually just gonna have to recover from this later. The chief does expect his dog slicer back, so that will be a problem. Yeah, at some point, this is gonna have to come out of my hands, and I'd rather do it now when there's not a bunch of people going like, CHOP HIM OFF! CHOP HIM OFF! <laughs> this, the is robot. this is This is the time. This is the love we love beam of destiny? Love love beam! Ultimate punishment! Unlimited power! Oh, hey. Yeah, maybe. That one's my That one's probably Versus touch? <laughs> yeah, it's touch. It hits. Holy shit! Princess did it! Damn it, it didn't oh, die, though. <laughs> I I just up. I've done my job. It's in front of you! Cool guys don't look at explosions. Ow! The don't frog. forget your adorable rat. The frog will bite at Moga. There's 11. No. The only up. advantage is that I have an incredible AC. <laughs> the sure. Vorka. We gotta go back up top. Vorka will slice at knives in the eyes, Larry. Does that hit? I don't know. You don't know <laughs> if that. <laughs> There's eight to chase. I don't feel anything. On the case, you may get an AOO on her, I think, as she goes down the chimney this time. You miss. Hiya! <laughs> He's now down the chimney. Into the house below that you are standing on. Tumbo! Down below! <laughs> Miss hit! This kills the frog. Don't do it to the frog! To the final blow, the heart, the flo the frog seizes up as his heart stops and falls limp 
of a form of God. Ah, uh, your frog sucks! And you begin consuming it. <laughs> That's below you. Sucks! Up top! I go back down the ladder. Go ahead and click it. And open the door. Go for it. You see a furnace that's lit on fire where she climbed down into. And a dog. What the fuck? <laughs> a you said all the dogs earlier. Fearsome dog rises up lazily from his slumber. Larry, it is your turn. Larry, come down here and close this door. <laughs> what? Where is everybody? This way. So we'll take the ladder to go down 10 feet. <laughs> you closed the door? No, that was that was me accidentally. Oh. I was trying to click on the... Uh... Got it. I'm trying to click on this nerd. Close the door. You closed the door, got it? The door is closed. So many people stacked on top of each other on different layers. I'm over right here for convenience for now, but I'm in that space next to yeah. the door. Lizzie. You can also go to people if you click on their name on their on their name or character in the mm -hmm. combat tracker, you can go straight there. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna keep skirting around the wall, yes. Yes. Did you see there was a dog in there? A vicious dog. I fucking hate dogs. And I will use a grip point to change my weapon to Scatterwood. Sure. Oh wait, never mind. I can't. I already moved. I'm sorry. JK, JK, JK. JK, JK, JK. I'm done. <laughs> You're done. Bogog. Toad is dead. Toad is dead. Nothing else in this room. Well, there is a giant red box in this room, and it's nest in this room. Nothing hostile, though. Just things that are, you know, collectible. I mean, that's true. I do like things. Well, I think I will come around and look and see what's in this red box. What's in the box? I'm going to enable dragging for everyone. Now you guys can open it. Oh, we found it. We fucking found it. <laughs> you have found the red, ornate, oriental box. You open it up, and a bunch of fireworks are inside. Well, that was a move and a standard. Ow. What was an explosion? The robo, it is your turn. It would be the riding dog's turn, but he or he I heard... Heard something about dogs? I'm clicking the ladder. Double click the ladder. You I'm can also do it... In the ladder. You, you can also manually do it if you want to. Just give yourself plus 10 on the height tracker. I'm gonna have to. You did it. You've made wow. it up here. Welcome to the second floor, buddy. Uh... It's nowhere really good for cut. So I guess I'll just stand here and ready in action. I will love, love beam any dog or stupid goblin witch. Okie dokie. Giant frog is dead pin. The Vorka is not dead pin. You hear the sound of rustling and a dog gnawing at the door in front of you. Tumbo, from down below. Tumbo spends another turn feasting. Tumbo eats the frog. Understandable, have a nice day. 
sots from up above. Goblins ready? I mean, no, but yeah, sure, go for it! Ha! You figured her ready to act it! Holy shit! As she blasts you with her last fire glove. Oh, the 16 hits your touch. Yes. Hey, six damage. Ow! As she's standing upon the, her feasting table. Right. Well, technically, she triggered my ready action, because I see that dog, don't I? Yes, you do, from that angle. It will have cover. I don't give a fuck. I believe in love! <laughs> she believe in love. You believe in love after love? Oh, nope. No, he doesn't. He missed again. No, I, I really have you missed. refreshed your cash yet? <laughs> you missed. You know, I did refresh that, It was head. a move action to open the door. What do you do now, Saw? Shift. I, I shift over here and drink a potion. <laughs> Alright. Larry! It's your turn. You hear the door that you closed this open. Oh no, it's only three. Oh. I cast. You cast. Grease. Grease. Go for it. Arcane spell failure? He's a bard. Or scald. Scards are subjected to arcane spell failure. No, they're not. Not if it's armor grace. I don't know if they are or aren't. They're not. I trust Steven implicitly. They have a I do as well. As long as they're not wearing medium or heavy armor, they're not. It's light. Perfect. Why don't you believe me? Steven's a god and a news. Go Glizzy. Yes, it is. Um, um, I'm out of that stupid magic fucking gourd thing. But, um, Do you want to reflex or fall them, or? I will. I oh, is it on their turn? Yeah, I'm just gonna on their first turn because okay, it doesn't gotcha. change anything. Yeah, you're right. Well, they might be prone and. You go prone. Um, just give it a second! I start scratching at the wall and I modify my gun real quick. And then load a special cartridge. Oh, I'll get it! Right, you right? That's my whole turn. <laughs> Are you reloading your gun? No, I'm modifying it. You're modifying your gun? Yeah, bro. Oh god! Uh, there's some shouting upstairs. I think I will go find out what that's about. Sure. I'll be quiet. And that's my turn. <laughs> this guy's gone up and down that ladder. <laughs> yep. Yep. Fighting those. Before that, I went back up the hill and back down the hill. Yeah, I've, I've been up and down and down and up and then up and then down again. Sauce. 23 hit. Holy shit. It does. Sauce. <laughs> I take 11 Dead. damage. She's what? dying. She's dying. She's dying. She's dead. Should have accepted the rage. The robo, a dog just came, down the sauce, and turns its gaze towards your direction. I make the face that my token is making. <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> I also make the face my token is making. <laughs> I also make the face my token is making. <laughs> Laying down and everything. Ah. Well, there's only one thing to do. <clears throat> I love. I believe in all of you. <laughs> but everybody gets plus one to their damage. 
<laughs> Do your plus one, everyone, to your damage. Who is that guy? Oh, my turn passed. Raging Song is over. Got it. That's out of rounds. Four good hands turn. Oh my god. That's done, that's done. I'm melee. I'm literally melee. We're gonna chug a potion. Well, not on you. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> not, not on you. You're gonna heal, heal five. I'll, I'll take it. No, you won't. You won't. She steps down. Reflex. Acrobatics. Oh yeah, right. Acrobatics. If she's just succeed. Half speed. Yeah, she's moving at half speed. She's just chilling. No tech necessary here. I mean, you can't shift in Greece. It's not difficult you... terrain. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's normal speed is DC 10 acrobatics. She's not moving normal speed. She's standing right there. Gotcha. Tumbo. This guy's just consuming down below. I don't have enough of a snack. <laughs> Fight echoes above. Oh, we need her DPS. I arrive on the scene. You've arrived on the scene. Sauce ordered you to stick Constitution. First. Lurp is going to try to stabilize me. Lurp? <laughs> hey, Lurp comes. Actually, wait. No. Lurp must have vengeance. Hell yeah. One shot. Let's go. <laughs> Lurp gazes at the hound. The hound looks questionably at the strawberry frog. Hypnotoad. I was say that hypnotoad. Holy shit! It failed. It is frightened. 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 Jesus. Amazing. What's your familiar with that fucking spell? Oh, that's bad. And I will roll to not die. And now we're not dying. I'm not stable. You are not stable. Larry. Alright, I got like one more of these. I'll step back and cast sleep. Do what? I'm just gonna... really believe that I would fall asleep here in the middle of a fight? Maybe? You really believe my dog, despite being frightened, would fall asleep in the middle of a fight? I don't know. Yeah, I go up the ladder. <laughs> go ahead. That took us in the air. Oh, oh no, he's fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's fine, yeah. yeah. Go for it. <laughs> That's it. You're above them all. Noisy, from down below. Can't see Vorka from there. If I anymore. do a cone right here, is that going to hit fucking? No, sauce? he's above. Uh, no. As you look at the cone, he's outside of it. Great so job, hit the toad. I'm gonna do a scatter shot into the room. Go for it. I'm going to attack them both with my molten shot. Light them on fire. Mm. Here goes nothing! I have no idea if this will work! It, oh. it, <laughs> it, it, it will not. just look like blowing up. It's no, it's just a misfire, it's fine. I was just doing a misfire. Alright. Just go front to back though. Yep. 16 versus touch, right? Yep. Hits. She takes 5 damage. She just healed that. 
and then also take 1d6 fire damage. Roll me 1d6. Slash. Fire damage. Fire damage. Fire damage. Fire damage. On top of grease. Yup. Yeah. Huh. So five fire damage. I mean, <laughs> would you like to read me what grease does in fire damage? Uh. Oh, it's DC 15 to take 1d6 fire damage, by the way. I don't think it does anything. Steven, on the grease. Can oh, I get it? A... Is, isn't grease flammable? Yes. I don't know if there's rules for it, though. Mm -hmm. I think there are, but if it's not the There are. In the real life, it is, but... Uh, I know it doesn't say anything. Just, it just ca the room would just catch fire, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. You can just use it. normal room from the Game Master Guide. Yeah, Did you make a DC 15 reflex save, by the way? Uh, reflex save? Yep. 404. Okay, so she doesn't take the fire damage. But she it's still a scatter of fire, so... We'll take it later. Also, every square in the cone is treated as if there's cow traps now. As if there's for, cow for, traps? Yep. There's little bits of molten fucking fire. What the hell do you do? <sighs> the molten shot room. Play me in there. Mogok, your destiny is up here! Uh, no! Alright. Mogog, it's your turn now. This is my special sh- I'm killing- If he says so, I guess he must be telling the truth. Fire! So I'll climb the ladder. Ignore the fire and grease the football. Trust me, get ready. I do my best to get ready. Riding Dog is afraid. Riding Dog leads in the opposite direction of the... It will retreat inside through the fire, taking fire on the D6 fire damage. It is only for one round, though? Three rounds for the Three rounds? No, 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 for fire damage. I mean, not fire damage, uh, fright damage. Oh, fright damage, yeah. Um... Oh, sorry, I should have rolled 1d4 rounds, yeah. Roll 1d4. Would you say hour? Rounds. Round. One round. So One round this. Oh god! Oh, yeah. It looks pissed! Forced him to run through fire, and now he's gonna run you over. It is now the Robo's turn. Can we just shut the door? This bitch will let her burn! <laughs> I can't. Can't work. I have to move, actually. You move on to the ladder. Uh, it's just or, part oh, of yeah, going up. up the ladder. It's ten up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any way, bud. Yeah, so here's my 10. Yeah, but what I really wanted to do... Oh! oh I can't get here in 30 feet. Fuck yeah. You made it here in 30 feet. Now, what's your plan? Standard action. Standard. <laughs> did you just use channel energy? It didn't have an animation. <laughs> there is a pure wounds animation. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I went into the into the spell effects macro. You probably thing. said cure light the cure wounds that cure light. I mean cure wounds that cure light. I just put cure. Long story I short. Live. Yeah. Ah, she is alive. Rise mm -hmm. from your grave. Can't let Sloth die like that. Next. I was about to. <laughs> yeah, I can't see that anymore. She steps forward and swings at Glizzy. 
Does that confirm a crit, Lizzie? Oh, no. no, it doesn't actually. Well, enjoy three damage. Ow! That would have downed me again. Son of a bitch, you know that? Yeah. Uh -huh. As she turns the corner and sees this person up again. How many times do I gotta put you down? Would you like a bull slug? What? Ew. I'm not a vegetarian! Sauce, it's your turn. You're on the ground. At least once more. She's gonna stand in front of her? You skipped me. Did I skip you? I did skip you. You skipped Come the up. blob. We'll remember that natural one, though. No, you can forget about that. No, I won't remember that. And fucking shifter or something. Come up. Skip her. You were selecting the wrong guy this time. What? So making the him <laughs> <laughs> what in God's it's name? Just, you're a fucking bitch and you're gonna die! What? What's it's happening? It. Jesus Christ! What's going on? I can't say anything. There's just a dog token on top of him. <sighs> oh, oh, my God. What the? Well, seems this situation has come to a head. The fireworks are located. All that remains to do is deal with this uh, uncouth woman and her pet. What? <laughs> Let's put a cap on this, shall we? Uh, it's so it's so dumb, isn't it? <laughs> Combo transforms his body into a handsome, tall do a goblin. <laughs> what do you do here, Combo? Oh, that's my full turn. No, that's your full turn? Well, right, that was kind of pointless! <laughs> you tongue and you miss. And I bite also. I go for it. And also you miss. miss. <laughs> what did you just stand up? I <laughs> just stand up. And Lurp will assist my AC. Lurp doesn't threaten. Oh, Larry, it is your turn. Whatever plan you have. What's that? Do it! Yeah, uh, I thought that this would go a little bit differently. Ah, oh, fuck. So just do a dropping attack on him. Or something. He has no foresight. <laughs> Alright! He's trying to call these the people's elbow right now. Like that wasn't what I was gonna do anyway. Without yeah. direction. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how I can get. I can't really. I will demoralize her. Alright. Go for it. He's unshaken. You're a bitch! Confused. Glizzy, it is your turn. I bite her. <laughs> you bite her. <laughs> I bite her. Alright. Uh, I don't have a bite. Animation, I didn't expect this to ever happen, but let's see. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, sure. Is there a melee attack? Uh... Yeah, combat melee. I just gave you my shark teeth, man. Cool. He uses dex, though. Do you have weapon finesse? I do not. So Seems minus five. Uh, that's a miss guy. anyways. Don't even worry that about it. That is a it. miss anyway. <laughs> oh, fuck! Fuck! Um, um. Fuck! Okay, <laughs> just stand here. <laughs> Mogog. Hansel Man! Hansel Man Killer! Come on now! Turn. <laughs> it's your turn, Mogog. I get a running start. 
and yep. leap off the balcony. Make an attack. I yell Mogog's one. name as he falls through the air. What the no! Go! Get a All plus right. one for high ground. What? Very cool. With the goblin's elbow. Uh, does this? Am I considered flanking? Yeah. Oh, cool. No, no, no. You're coming from above. You're flanking with the ground. So no. For the for the purpose of dirty fighting. You just jump there. If you if you land if you will say you put at the end you'll land here then yes. For sure. sure. All right. Yeah, that works. And grapple. That's, I think that's everything. Fifteen against her normal AC. That misses. Oh no. With the flank? Is that with flank? That was plus 17? two. Oh, that is not with flanking. You're right. That is a plus two seventeen. Still misses. Oh, that oh, well. She's a slippery bitch. No, I'm not. Okay. Kind of. All right. So oh, I should have done this earlier. Yeah. But just out of curiosity, is she good? No, she's evil. All right. Well. She, she's a goblin, bro. She's evil by goblins. Even more evil than goblins. Yeah, she partners with dogs! Yeah. The most evil bitch I've ever seen in my life! <laughs> <laughs> my throat's going out. <laughs> I can't. Alright, that's everything for me. <clears throat> well, the dog doesn't have the wherewithal to use delay action. So it's gonna go forward. Stop standing in fire, you idiot! This dog literally doesn't care about that. He'll take 1d6 fire damage. Am I, bitch? Keep taking one fire damage. Who God, it's fucking unstoppable. Right. Kinda, the kinda, robo is your turn. She's kind of just in the way. <laughs> Close the door on the dog. Yeah, can we just kill her and close the door and then walk yeah, away? Yeah, bull her rush her into the room and then close the door. <laughs> Fire's gonna go on the next turn. You think I have bull rush? Yeah, you're a goblin. With my negative strength. <laughs> I have no good items. <laughs> Aren't you the robo? Nothing. The. the the Twilight Nightmare? The Twinkling Nightmare? Yeah. I got it. And that's why I'm gonna shift back. And this is the one. Ah, uh, she can't keep evading Fortitude saves, right? You gotta keep, uh, you gotta use a minus four. She's definitely in melee. <laughs> nah, it's fine. <laughs> you can't roll bad forever. Or can you? Sure. Ben. Right ben. now. Face the punishment! Face it! Ah, that's with the minus 16. four. 16 versus touch. Hits. Sorry. You take two whole damage. Wow! Empty fort. Right, one of these times, she's gonna fail the fort. She's gonna be this dead. This is fucking Christ! Be <laughs> What's the with you? You're prone on, you're prone non threat on the ground, Sauce. So as long as I stay in melee, you're, you're done. I'm gonna hit fucking. What's his name? Who is he? Who oh, is he? Is that right? No, you're a bitch. Alright. Anyway, we we shit. I'm just gonna shut the door, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's there now. Gumbo, it's your turn. Bitch. I'll handle you in a minute. <laughs> Shift, move action, close this door. Mine's so educated! Huh? Ah! Fuck! It's uh, 18 to hit. Misses. Are you also Miss applying flank? I don't believe Mr. Dorobo over there oh, has a melee right. weapon. He's a you're right. Bro. You just have to be threatening. Do you have a melee weapon? 
to be thrown in, you need to have a weapon. Uh. Oh, oh yeah, true. Kinetic Plus doesn't count. I have count. a dagger. I just have a wand, too. Do you have a dagger in your hand? No, probably not. I don't think I've drawn it. It's us. It's your but turn. I miss, and it's all your fault. Would you like to stand up now? Mlurp first. Mlurp is going to enter Vorka's space. Huh? Oh, cool. And croak. You want to attack that fucker? Yeah, I do want to attack that fucker. <laughs> yeah, I guess I will attack that. <laughs> I'll attack She's got a dog! I 19 oh, hit Mlurp. Mlurp now! It does hit Mlurp. <laughs> Mlurp takes more damage. It's still alive. And it's going oh, no. to assist my attack. Assist your attack, Wolf. You gonna stand up now. Incredible gameplay! <laughs> oh my god! And fail. <laughs> I stand. I tried. She can't AOE you. You're standing. I can't unprone myself with the debuff. It's, it's just the lag. Okay, oh shit, I'm making it worse by spam clicking, probably. Yeah. I stand. Yeah. And then I... Can you shift after standing? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you shift, can. Shift right here. And tongue attack. You're flanking with uh, Glizzy's teeth. Is that what the plus two? 20? It hits. Oh, yes. <laughs> She takes five damage. She's not grabbed. No. That's it. Get this frog off my face! <laughs> Larry. Knives in my eyes, Larry. Do the. Sure, what is your thing? Does he have a thing? Going over there. Hiya! Fourteen misses. Glizzy. Okay. I'll we'll shoot her anyways with a broken gun and a minus four penalty for position. What could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong here? Oh! Sometimes you what, just gotta have faith! Is that what the minus for? Yeah, it's with every minus. Alright, it hits. It applies. She is dead. You guys keep the door shut on the dog? Oh yeah. So it burns to death? Well, Sounds good. Uh, fortunately out. for you, the dog can't open the door. And therefore, we'll stay in that room until it, you know, dies or gets smoked out. You're telling me that that dog got high? I want to get high. The battle rages <laughs> on once again! Larry, no! As <laughs> you open the door, please wait outside. <laughs> because the moment you open that door, attacks happen. <laughs> please come here where you can actually open the door at least. <laughs> Alright, assuming <laughs> that that's what you do. Back on the fight, the ready to action of the dog immediately goes off and bites the first thing in front. Does 21 hit you, Jumbo? Sure does. It's what size category is this dog, by the way? Medium. God. I gotta roll away! Always. <laughs> Do I get a hit by that pole? <laughs> Just stagger him and then close the door again. <laughs> oh god. I don't think you can roll. 
Oh, yes, you can. Her. Straight line, only. Oh, I was thinking there was a person there, but she's dead. No, she's dead. Yeah, we'll start from... If, why we open the door, then we'll start with fucking... <laughs> Twisty. What do you do? I'm dead it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you walk, you sit, and you go back into clothes. Go away! The, the fight is here! The fight is now over. There's nothing to see anywhere! Good point! <laughs> Can we live? The fire rages on, threatening to uh, burn the boat down. Actually, yeah, we should get the fireworks and, and get the hell out of here. Why? Let's just blow them up now! No, we gotta take them back so we can start an apocalypse! Start the apocalypse here! He makes a convincing point. Anybody got a counterpoint? No? Alright, let's go blow him up! Blow him up! <laughs> alright, alright. Let me delete some of these emotes going on right now. Uh, so we have a little bit of clarity of what's happening. Wait, save some of them at least. There's another box over there. They're representing the other loot in this room. The one that burnt down? No, this one's not burning down. This one's 10 feet below. With the fire up there. Oh. I Come stuff in. my arms full of full of as many fireworks as I can carry. And stumble out onto the deck looking for something to start a fire with. Sass. Sass! Yes. I feel like I at least deserve a taffy for saving your life. I gave the taffies to, to, to what's his name? To Glizzy. Trying for some worms. Glizzy has the taffies. I don't have them anymore. All right, I would like to uh, shoot this the fireworks and then close the door. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> if you so choose, yeah. <laughs> if you want, yeah. So, Mogog has collected all the fireworks. There's oh, I've more... not collected all of them. So you've collected some of them. Well, if you're not collecting all of them and you want to launch some of them, you can actually use the fireworks as items. And it'll oh, work. Oh, for real? Yeah. Alright. The, requ the candle requires a target, though, to use. Oh, so Just well... shoot it at each other. That's okay. Fair enough. This is popping them off now. Oh, I thought that's what we were doing. Hey, I'm asking if you're going back, are you gonna pop them off now? There's a difference. Well, I can't <laughs> really target think... the trees. You can't I think target. we should bring them back. I want the loot. Go with it. There is another pile. There is inside the nest sauce. You find 12 shuriken. A heart-shaped elixir, a wand, a hairpin with a red pearl, an ivory gold fan, and a bejeweled silver and jade dragon lantern. What? Take the wand and the elixir and give all the other stuff to everyone else. I can't even get the heart-shaped elixir. God damn it. I, wait, I was gonna, gonna give it to you and say you should drink it. I just like to go outside and start firing off fireworks like a fucking madman in yeah. the forest. Go for it. Nothing's stopping you from firing off fireworks. I just want to know if you're going to do all of them. I'm Is doing it? all five of the ones I have. I want to know, as a group, would you like to do all of them? We or would you like to bring them back? I have two of them. I want to bring some back for the apocalypse. Sure. Yeah, I've got two for the apocalypse as well. Two for the apocalypse? The important bit is the skyrockets. Yeah, I took two of them. Sure. I'll, take, I'll hold on to the other two, just so the rest of the... The less intelligent goblins don't just blow them up. <laughs> it does the candles and the, the paper candles? Go for it. Start laying them rip. You can start spamming them. But... <clears throat> you guys exit from the middle of the cabin. Just, uh, we can't take anything in the treasure pile, but that's okay. 
I would like to just... Dorobo, you are the apple of my eye. I present this potion. I hand you the pink. The pink uh -huh. potion. Oh shit, my target is wrong. <laughs> what the hell is Why do I hear Pink Panther? Why, Saz, I don't know what to say. Hell yeah, right, my, my left eye fucking just <laughs> blushes. <Left> eye blushes. <laughs> but they so are legible now. So what is this wand? Identify. You gonna you gonna identify? It is the wand it of crate food and water. Oh shit! I cast it. Yeah. You start creating water and food straight from the uh, wand. My children. I'm just gonna cast it until it's empty. <laughs> Feast! Feast! Right. You guys. So, the celebration! Some of you, some of you are shooting off the paper candles, some of you are eating is shooting off food in the air. I'm firing off glizzies. Cr I would like wand to created you, glizzies. I would like to inform you, though, that this boat is currently burning down. That's okay. Damn right it is. Can I, can I try to put fires out? Yeah. What? Wait, I'm Without sorry, what? Without anybody what? seeing. Without anybody <laughs> seeing. <laughs> After the dog is dead, dog I just wander off. Yes. I start We're disgusted quietly, <laughs> secretly putting them out. You put out the fire. So, but, by, by the way, Sauce, what, what what is this? I don't know. Just kidding. Right, just just kidding. I, I know I exactly. It. I know exactly what it is. Just drink it. Visibility. It is a powerful potion. Yep. I drank it. Hell yeah, brother. You drink the heart shaped <laughs> elixir? Yep. No. Oh, Let's see, I give you shurikens. I don't want this for. <laughs> Actually, I'll shoot them out of my gun. That's not sick as fuck. Okay, hold on. Combo gets this. What is this? I gave him a fan. I would like you to make a will save, Zoroba. Hell yeah. <clears throat> you feel nothing more than a little indigestion. Wasn't very powerful! Holy fuck! It 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 looked much prettier than it tastes. <laughs> You know, but I'll keep the bottle soup sauce. I'll keep it. The things that tongue could do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. I want that. I'm we get to learn. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> I want to know whether you guys are going to celebrate here or back at the place. Both. Both. <laughs> I was gonna say, both, oh, both both both. <laughs> a continuing also, celebration for the end of times. I'm on the case. Why well, have one celebration? We can have two. Oh, Jesus. Excellent. <laughs> 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 Did I just get Stan Marsh? Yes. Yeah. South Marsh? <laughs> <laughs> you got vomited with macaroni. Well, you just open your mouth to talk and she spits vomit macaroni <laughs> all up in it. Well, I, I vomit we... up whatever is being conjured by this wand. Where'd you get the macaroni? From her wand of great food and water. Wand of great macaroni and cheese. All right. As you guys celebrate here using the fireworks, do you use all the fireworks and how many skyrockets do you have left? Is the important part of it. I have two. I have two. What time would you guys like to return to the Lickto tribe? An hour. That's nice enough, right? 
Sure. As long as it's still considered tonight, are you guys ready to go? I'm ready. You guys don't want to take a nap or something? Combo, you look weird. I got my fire! What are you talking about? You look like something's different. No, he looks the same to me! I touch. He sounds a little different. You feel a little different. Sound a little bit like. Humies. I look and sound however I please. But do you feel however you please? I feel rather well. I think today went uh, splendidly. I think we were wrong. I think he was the smartest of us all. No, I'm smartest. Oh, maybe. I feel kind of You bad. guys are all stupid. Shut up. Let's go. <clears throat> right. You guys all leave back to the tribe. Saving a few sky rockets back towards the tribe. Not letting them know that you prematurely popped off the fireworks. Multi parts. Do keep this a secret from the chief, by the way. Fear he might not like it if he discovered I was a larger goblin than him. What? Exactly, Larry. It's pretty tall. Kind of handsome. Hey. What? Indeed. Is he British too? It's crazy. Come. Why is this guy from Gravoy? <clears throat> then the night grows late as you guys arrive back in the goblin village. Slorb coming back. Ah! It seems as though you gathered all the fireworks, right? Carefully inspects whatever. Who is this guy? It's me, Slorb. I begin touching his face again. Yeah, the big ears, the wig, floor. Remember? Why do you wear that wig? <laughs> because. Because. It's luxurious. You have the I remove it try. from his head. He slowly lifts the, puts the wig back on his head. Stop that, Larry. Are you bald? Is it? Yes, I am bald underneath it, but that's not the reason <laughs> why. <laughs> bald. I would like to shoot his wig with a paper candle. Go for it. <laughs> Chuck one at him. Uh... All right, if you found the fireworks, we have something for you to commemorate your new advancements in life, all right? No need to make fun of me or my wig. That's or my I love yes. your wig. Ah! So Firework comes popping off at him. The wig flops onto the floor. Shut! Get out of my hair. I have secure force. Right, follow me. It's so dark. There's all the fire. It's literally nighttime. You don't have fire? Back in the holy treasure room. Why is he so fucking lit up? Because this piano. Yes. Piano -ish. Right. You guys are right. It is kind of fucking dark. <laughs> <laughs> so, these two begin interrogating you, mainly Sorb, about your adventure. Do you tell them every detail of the adventure? Do you leave things out? What is the Why gist? Why about everything? Allow Why? me to embellish. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll roll first here. You are a goblin -ness. We went on a terrible trek. We fought a giant spider. Many, many leg. 
He went down pretty easy, honestly. But the uh, human that we went to go fight put up kind of a little bit of a fight. Human? Human? <laughs> there was yeah, a human? Yeah, Gorgas. What? Never heard of Gorgas. Well, they were who had the the fireworks. He nods. And we stole them after killing all of their evil, evil dogs. Hmm. And we burned the place down. I... But you had the fireworks. We do. Present the fireworks. I I show the many fireworks that I am carrying. We are ready. It is time. To yeah. end time! Yes, it's time! Goblins, set them up! As a bunch of goblins rush into the room and begin procuring your fireworks if you let them. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, not like that! No! Uh, I am, I am beginning to set fire to the explosives in my hands. I'm, I'm lighting <laughs> fireworks and just setting them off. We are ready. As you let off the fireworks, you are being wrestled from the other goblins and scrambled to procure as many fireworks and skyrockets as possible before burning down the moot hut. Burning down! As... <laughs> yes! As you begin lighting all of them off outside... I finally uh, use my tinder twig. Beautiful. What? Huh. Oh, that's why. Activate those tiles. So, with all the help of the other goblins, they set up as many fireworks as possible before Mogug explodes them. Fireworks go off, celebrating the moment. Chief Gutwad walks outside with Slorb. Well, not walk, but gets carried outside with Slorb. Are you guys popping in fireworks too? Oh yeah. I could tell. <laughs> That's how laggy he's getting. I was gonna say, was it was it the flashing black boxes? You are all prompted to line up at attention. Alright, I mean, if we're getting serious about this, I, I stop lighting up fireworks and I participate. Right. You have all proven yourselves goblins, the hero goblins of the Licto tribe, and are now able to take higher responsibilities. Glizzy! You are given title of head big boom guy. You are in charge I, I, I of- I can't hear anything over yeah, the these fireworks, fireworks are right. really loud. You have to turn down your- They're not muted, bro. <laughs> they don't stop. Oh, that's the fire ambience. <laughs> I don't- I can't control the fucking fireworks. I guess I can just control the- Turn your ambient down in global. Yeah, ambient. There you go. I muted that. It's not for me. It's just not there. The only thing in ambience is music. Yeah, Global like volume controls. Global volume, yeah. The top. Oh. Yeah, mine was hidden too. My ass. Tech is very going. hard. Shut up! You will be in charge of the. You will be the head 
big boom guy in charge of all of your two mechanic things and future fireworks. Whatever that means. Mogok! You have been granted the title of Ambassador of Hatred. You will go around to other tribes of other races and determine whether they need to be hated or not. Kill everyone! Yeah, of course. Mm. Sus! With your long, long tongue, you will be Inspector of Tongues. You will now reorder every goblin in this tribe in hierarchy based upon the quality of their tongue. Yes, as it should be. <clears throat> knives in your eye, Larry! Because you have knives in your eyes, you will be the overseeing of village stabbings. You will oversee all stabbings necessary amongst us goblins. What, what do I do in that job? Step away. You oversee stabbing. Yeah, but like... Okay. You like monitor... administrative stabbings! Yeah, exactly! How is that hard to understand? Like, like earlier, when, when that one gobbo, where's that one gobbo, disrespected you, and I stabbed him, you'd be in charge of overseeing that. There's a goblin over here bleeding to death on the ground. Do I just gotta look at it? Yeah. All right. It's a, good, a job. good job. Yeah. Combo. You are you are instructed to return to your jar. Failing that though, you will become district attorney of the Licto tribe. Do you think you can handle that? Oh, we lynched the last DA. What is that? Is that a, do you guys understand that as yes or no? I think what, what, combo what is huh. All right. And for the robo, the twilight, the twinkling nightmare. For your failures <laughs> and the cop and the grabbing the fireworks. And your failure in using the love love routine. And you are given the highest honor of marrying the, his mighty girthness, useless son. Wow! You will marry Burbo. The oh. host. Which, what? for those who don't understand, he is a Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you did well, you would marry his daughter. But you did poorly, so you marry his son. What? That makes perfect sense! Yeah! <laughs> Where is Burbo? He's dead. You! What? Step the you! They look at you inquisitively, but an overseer is stabbing. He goes and he stabs the man next to him. How you stabbed the other one back! Two people stab each other in the corner. Good job! This is a great job! <laughs> and you're doing it wonderfully! And with that, your new jobs, we conclude the adventure of Weeby Goblins. <laughs> That's it, we everybody. It. Hooray! Hooray for us! I, I think I have a pretty good job. I think I have a pretty good chance of destroying the entirety of the world. Yeah. I know. With, with my three remaining skyrockets. With my new job, <laughs> I am more than happy to assist you. With your new job of being told? married to the prince. Larry was here. never seen again after this night. <laughs> <laughs> that seems likely. After this night, Larry was gone. Well, you guys are all technically alive for Weeby Goblins too. Until that time. Do you guys remember when this was advertised as a two to three hour adventure? <laughs> yeah, it was a four hour adventure. Like four, that's not too bad for us. Plus yeah, it's one. Not off. And our combat was took forever. You guys often take like nine hours to do things. Four is pretty good.